Of oh, course. That's lovely. Right. All right. So we are recording. Um, I wanted to start off by not minimizing that screen. There we go. Oh man. Okay. So first off, uh, if you guys want to go ahead and give me a player intro, um, just name, what pronouns, and if you want to tell me any other info, uh, Brett, do you want to go first? Sure. Uh, Brett, he, him. Um, pretty new to any tabletop RPG type games, playing D&D for maybe a year and a half. This is my first time playing Numenera, and that's about it. <laughs> cool. And Luna. Uh, <clears throat> she, her pronouns. And uh, this is, I could probably count on one hand how many times I've played <laughs> a uh, role-playing game at all. I believe all. it's three, um, because I've run them all for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's three. Feel called out, but thanks. <laughs> um, yeah, that's about it. I stream, but not role-playing games. Well, you will be soon. No, I'm just kidding. I know, right? Right? Exciting. Cool. All right, and then everybody, I'm Rachel, and I'm the GM. Uh, I have been... Uh, she, her, and I have been running, um, so I've been playing tabletop games since 2005, and I've been running games, uh, starting with D&D 3.5 edition since 2010-ish, give or take. Um, yeah, and we're gonna play some No Monera. Um, so, uh, you guys, we have some characters, and Brett, did you pick, have a chance to uh, look at them? I did a little bit. Okay. And just based on my experience with some of the D&D &D stuff, I think red is probably going to be something I can be kind of comfortable with as, I'm assuming, kind of roguey. Yep, roguish. Um, yeah. yeah. That's totally fine. Um, yeah, if I had to kind of give them your their sort of D&D-esque, uh, your glaive is going to be your sort of fighter, warrior, battle type. Um your nano is going to be more like your magic users. Uh, the jack is your rogue type. Um, the right Arcus and Delve are actually from the Destiny and Discovery version, which is kind of like the second edition, sort of, of Numenera, which I have not read the book fully for yet. Uh, I've... <laughs> I flip through it several times <laughs> and then get distracted by, you know, salvage rules or whatever. So, um, those ones I'm not 100% on, like, you know, one-to-one. -one. I do know in this instance, though, the delve is kind of like your monk. Um, the Arcus, the right <laughs> ping. <laughs> right. What are you moving around to? <laughs> I moved, that's all, nothing. Don't let me interrupt you, go ahead. You're playing the glaive? Yeah. You're playing the glaive? Can I not do that? I you, can do that. I, no, you can play the glaive. I, I don't I don't care at all. <laughs> you can play whatever you guys want. Um, so, yeah, so those are the characters. Um, real quick check that you guys are familiar with how to use Roll20 as well. Uh, um, to a degree, I'm using it in the... Uh, other campaign okay. that I'm running out of Go Gaming, the Halls of Runehammer one. Okay, gotcha. So I get an idea of it. Cool. I've, I've played here once before. And you're like, I, I got it. I, I'm, I'm solid. A professional now. Idea. I'm a professional. <laughs> yep, professional. Mm -hmm. Oh, good, because I don't know anything about World Twenty. No, <laughs> with my eighty days worth of time in it, I don't. <laughs> I don't know how to play. Um. Cool. So you are Luna. You're going to play. How would you like to pronounce it? You can just call me A. A? Okay. All right. So A, the graceful glaive who exists partially out of phase. And Brett, you're going to play Red Yoro, the clever jack who works the back alleys. Let me pull yes. up my notes. Um, I'm just double checking who has the one, the two things. Make sure somebody That has sounds... That. Okay, cool. I'm gonna say that one. Okay. So, on your character sheets, both of you should I believe have a thing called Thalm Dust. Yes. 
Oh, where would I find that? It's on the right hand side under your equipment. I found mine at the bottom. Oh, yep. Got it. All right. So you should have a pop up now. It says mm -hmm. Thalm Dust. All right. So that's what it looks like and what it does. You guys would be aware of this. You have been given this knowledge ahead of time. So if you want to go ahead and take a moment to read that while I jot notes and things down. I didn't get my scratch paper. All right. So we get that taken care of. All right. So go over some basics of the game real quick. Uh, when I tell you about a um, like a task or a combat or anything, I'm going to tell you either a difficulty or a target number. The difficulty is a scale of 1 to 10, and the target number is that number times 3. So if I say the difficulty is 3, then you need a 9 or higher on your dice. Um, what you can do is before you roll, you can, um, if you have any skills, those make it easier. So it makes it what's called one step easier, which means it will take it from a three to a two. If you take it down to a zero, you do not have to roll because obviously you automatically succeed. Um, if you have, um, skills, if you have, uh, a certain, um, asset which is basically you have the high ground or you're flanking you know those kind of things would give you what's known as an asset you can get two assets uh, per roll um, if that still doesn't bring it down low enough that you feel comfortable rolling then you can also apply effort um, at your level you can apply one level of effort per action uh, so in an attack you can apply it to either the attack roll or the damage, uh, which would increase, you know, give it would either make the roll easier or it would give you more damage. Um, or you can, um, in a regular type of scenario, you know, you're checking for a lock, you can apply one, one level of effort um, to bring it down one step easier. Nick just texted me. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Nick, we've moved on. <laughs> Um, if he pops in, we'll, 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 let me see if he's joining. I don't, that didn't tell me if you're joining yeah. or not, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. But, uh huh. But are you joining? <laughs> um, you know, what's funny is I sent him a ca calendar invite, too, so it should be on his calendar. Shame. Oh, my. Aggressive bell ringing. I'm gonna, yeah. How many no notifications did I set? <laughs> Because I kept forgetting it was Friday. <laughs> there you go. At least, at least two. At least two. Um, so, uh, real quick, we're going to do a quick test roll. Uh, you can click on anywhere on your sheet that has a little dice icon. Um, if you click and it pops up with Windows, you can just click OK to, to kind of cycle through. Because it might ask for your difficulty. Or sorry, your difficulty, you will have to pick something. It doesn't matter what. All right, test here, we'll do. All right. Oh. Fail. You didn't get in that one, though. No, <laughs> but I don't like being called a failure. Okay. <laughs> Fail would have been OK, but failure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll go ahead. What happened? Did uh, it nothing. Tell you? Did it pop up in your chat something saying, like some garbled? I got it. I'm supposed to click on the die, right? Uh, move. There might be a window in the way. See if there's a pop up that came up in the back. Dang it! Might have some some pop up going on. Oh, there or is. Look at blocker. it. It's here. <laughs> Hiding. Sneaking into the background. There you go. All right. Now I have like 15 of these open. Hold on. <laughs> I've totally done that before. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, go ahead and get those. That's to make sure that your sheets are working, which they are. Um, so basically, you can also look at that and see that um, the difficulty shows as well as the target number. You can also see what you roll and it will tell you what difficulty it beats. So zero, target number zero. 
and then um, you know if you do a, an attack it'll tell you how much damage if you roll a nat one um, I get a free GM intrusion uh, oh. so I get to step in and say bad things that happen you can negate that by paying one of your experience I have given you four experience it's in the upper right hand corner of your sheet you might have to scroll over a little bit because I know they open up a little bit small. Um, so you all start out with four experience. Um, what that can be used for is re-rolls. So if you roll a nat one, you can opt to pay one experience to negate it and an additional experience to re-roll it. So instead of just epic fail, you could just kind of fail or you could just <laughs> re-roll and pretend it didn't happen. Um, <laughs> You can also use it to, um, if you pay one experience, you can do what's called a player intrusion, which is basically you guys, maybe you're tracking something or you're, you're doing something and you're like, you know what, player intrusion, I'm going to pay an experience and I'm going to change the story to our favor or, you know, add, add something to it. Like maybe you decide, hey, can we find a map? Can we find a book or something that gives us insight to what we're doing? Um, obviously, if you go too off the rails, I might be like, no, but you can have this instead, or whatever. Um, there is also what's called GM intrusions. Now, if you roll a nat one, I get it for free. I don't have to pay you guys. But, at any point, I can say, hey, Luna, would you like a GM intrusion? You don't know if it's going to be good or bad. Um, you just have to say yes or no, if you say yes, I give you two points of experience. You get to keep one and give one to somebody else. In this case, Brett, because <laughs> <laughs> you don't have another option. Your options Hooray. are limited. Um, but uh, it could be something good. Like I could say, oh, so as you guys are looking, um, a, a dazed and confused traveler is going to stumble into the room and he has the information you need. Or rocks fall and everybody dies could go either way um it, that's a big job yeah yeah so it it's a risk uh but it could have good rewards <laughs> um so that's gm intrusions well we have a nick joining we'll give him a minute to join in cool well now i'm not guaranteed to get that extra xp not guaranteed but still likely no. <laughs> yeah, I did. Just remember, I did show up on time. You That's did. right. When you when you need to make that decision, <laughs> I uh, that it goes a long way with me when people show up on yeah. time. She's like, "You laugh, but hear we, me out." We can make this deal right now before he gets in here. <laughs> deal, deal, deal. It's, it's just spinning. Oh, oh. Can you hear us? Oh. Oh, I'm hiding. I can hear, but yeah. I don't think you all can hear yet. <laughs> uh, why am I typing? He said we can hear us. Duh. Yes, we can hear. I... <laughs> we cannot hear you. <laughs> do you guys do that all the time where you're like not not paying attention? Oh, yeah. I try and use everything as a touch screen. <laughs> Tap. Tap, tap. I think that's the the equivalent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, boop, boop. <laughs> There's an boop. That's Newt. Don't hear you yet. We can see your face, though. We'll see your face. We're half halfway there. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it took me way too long to get that reference. <laughs> You're like, wait, what? <laughs> embarrassed by that. It's okay. We'll just chalk it up to you being young and not getting the reference. Uh, sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just take it. Young. Uh, Nick, if you check, uh, are you using Chrome or Firefox? Because that will affect it. Top right, top right of the screen. Yeah. It's top right of the bar, right? Is where it's at. Yeah. Yeah. There should be a little camera and then also a microphone. Mm-hmm. 
and then possibly a little speaker that is well no you can hear us so the speaker wouldn't be there <laughs> it's like one of those yeah i had to because i muted this a bunch going in mm -hmm. and it was still muted when i came in i forgot about it i think half the time i have mine muted and not so you might hear yeah. me like clicky clacking away The other option is use Firefox or a different browser. Um, top right, the little oh, how about sounds? We hear you, but it's not very good sounds. What? Oh, there it goes. There we go. It was like okay. Um, yeah. So I don't usually screw up this bad. I'm so sorry again, Rachel. <laughs> Slacker. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Um. So for reference, um, I figured, OK, yeah, 8 PM. That gives us plenty of time for dinner. Oh, unless, uh, well, I didn't consider this, obviously. It's the extended grand finale of our favorite show, and I don't check my phone for several hours. <laughs> for shame. For shame. Uh, uh, real quick, I am recording this for the, for the YouTube channel. OK. So just so you're aware before you start going into any weird details that you don't want on a YouTube channel. Or, or spoilers. <laughs> or spoilers <laughs> of whatever your favorite show is, which... The Expanse, by the way. Oh, okay. Chris was watching that today. I don't know if he's, like, caught up, though. Yeah, uh, David's, like, a super fan, so um, I guess I should have asked him, so when when is... Uh... But that didn't occur to me during scheduling. <laughs> For shame. No. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, no, no. Totally my bad. Thank That's you for funny. being so cool about it. We were just going over the um, the kind of the basics. Uh, did you um, get a chance to look at the characters at all? Do you need a quick sort of half rundown of what they are to pick? Half rundown sounds wonderful. All right, so who's left is the Erbeek Confident Right who battles automatons. Um, don't remember off the top of my head what he does. But he smashes things, I believe. Um, pretty smashy. Your mystical nano, Marulus, is sort of the equivalent of like a magic caster. Um, in D&D, &D, so it's like your wizard or your sorcerer. Um, the curious Arcus is... Dang it, I don't remember. Axe without God, I don't remember. But Ketch is m like a monk. I do remember that one. Very punchy. Uh, I okay. need to look up what they... I don't remember what Arcus's do is the problem. These are from the newer rule set. <laughs> you miss my Has explanation of me going, mm, hmm. <laughs> Has everyone else already chosen? Yep, yeah. So Luna's going to be Aural, or A, and Brett is going to be Red Yoru. Okay. Um, hmm. So there's, it looks like, a basically a, a magic user and a rogue, essentially. Uh, no, the glaive is uh, very smashy. Oh, okay. That's your uh, barbarian slash um, fighter. Okay, but Clever Jack, that's yeah. pretty much... Uh, yeah. That is going to be your rogue. Rogue type. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, then I'll, I'll go uh, Marulus. Is that how you say it? Sure. That can be how we say it. Okay. Nice. <laughs> yeah, seems like a good party balance. Good party balance. Cool, cool. So uh, you guys were just doing the preliminary stuff anyway. I didn't mess up the schedule too bad. No, no we're so so okay. my schedule is very flexible. Uh, I can typically run this in about three. I've I, with almost every group I've run it in just about three hours. So, Okie dokie. Uh, we have a four um, hour window. <laughs> so, okay. So I see that I'm I'm supposed to enter. So I selected text mode, and then I just draw a text box. Is that what I do? Uh, sure, if you want, or I mean, you don't even have to do that okay. now because there's only three people, but that works. I'm OCD, so I'm going to anyway. <laughs> Is it going to bother you that there? Okay, I say it was <laughs> a little off center there. I mean, <laughs> does it still bother me? Yes, but like, I'm going to be a normal human being today. Fix these, <laughs> so you say. No, um, as much as I ever am. Exactly. All right. I then... had to also step away from not messing with it. So <laughs> sorry, I, I've tweak them and stuff too when I'm you know in between stuff um so under your character sheets you should be able to see all of them so you can open up the one you want Nick Ooh, uh okay. so Marulis and if you want to just click any 
dice icon on there to make sure that you um, either get prompted for stuff or it just rolls. Uh, oh, just like click anything just to test that it rolls? Yeah, because sometimes the sheets get a little buggy and they don't let people roll for some reason. I'm clicking on the initiative text box. I'm getting like a not allowed symbol. What do you mean not allowed symbol? Like the 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 red circle with a red line diagonally through it. You know, Marulis, why you gotta be like this? Let's see. <laughs> Come on. Are you clicking on the dice or the box? The box. Oh, oh I should yeah, click yeah. the dice. Yeah. Mm. Oh. I was trying you... to I was looking at it and I hovered over the box and went, oh. That sounds exactly like what he's talking about. Yeah. Oh, that's... I should use the button with the hover text that says click to roll. Yep. Nah. Yes. <laughs> that would be a great uh, start. Difficulty, let's Doesn't go in impossible. Sure. <laughs> Did it do it? Not yet. Did another text box another pop button? up? It, 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 gave me the, it gave me the um text, the impossibility, uh whatever, difficulty box, and I selected it, and I hit OK, and that was it. In your chat, is there something showing that says? Uh, no. Check behind your sheet, see if there's another window, another pop up. Uh, maybe if I super minimize it, it will. You can you can also pop out the sheets too, which is yeah, yeah, helpful for me. Yeah, I should probably do that. And there it is, input value. Um, uh, let's say zero. There you go. Oh, I failed. You failed. Wow. Failure. Nobody saw that one coming. Um, <laughs> because you need a 30 on a, on a D20. And that's probably not even possible. Yeah, okay. N nope. <laughs> 30. And you rolled a 2. Congratulations. Well, I um, guess I did select impossible, so. Yep. If it makes you feel any better, I put it as a difficulty 2 and failed. Yeah. <laughs> and he only needed a 6. Uh <laughs> Honestly, yes. Yes, that does help. Thank you. Good. <laughs> Good. Uh, so real quick, since Nick hasn't done it, Nick, do you want to give us your uh, name, pronouns, and a blurb, like a one-sentence blurb about you? Um, can So just because I'm super awkward and don't like these things, uh, what did you all say? <laughs> just, just give me a general recap. You don't have to like. <laughs> Basically how long they've been playing games or what they're familiar with. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Hi, my name's Nick. Um, pronouns are he, him, and I've been gaming um, for about, I don't know, five, six years. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. And uh, mainly my experiences with D&D. &D. Um, I have played a few other things, mainly at Gen Con, really. Um, let's see, I've played a little Call of Cthulhu. I've played a little... Um, Dread. 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 Yep. And... I'm sure there are other things. Oh, yeah. I've also um, tried Fate Core. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. And I am happy to be here. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me. Maybe, uh, maybe Ray can fix this in editing. Put it all together. <laughs> or he might I just could... post it as is. We'll, we'll just fix it in post. We'll Photoshop all could... the stuff out. I could try again if you want. <laughs> no, no. No, I'm saying because your intro is like way after. <laughs> Oh, that yeah. I kind of hope Ray just posts it as a or as is I, without watching he's it, been, and it goes. He's been doing that heck? with the uh, with the Runehammer one, and he's in there. Yeah, it's more real this way. It is. Yeah, authentic. Um, it's okay. You can call me out for being late in in the in the show. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Shame. Shame. All right, I'll give you the Cliff Notes version of uh, the rules and such. So, um, everything, every task you're going to do has a difficulty of one to ten. Uh, obviously 10 is impossible um, but hmm. the way to figure out what the target number is is multiply that by 3 so if it's a difficulty of 4 your target number is 12 uh, and you have to get a 12 or higher on the dice um, you okay. can um, when you go to make the roll you can um, either use like skills and knowledge um, or you can have at, up to 2 assets which is like the high ground plus somebody helping you or stuff like that um, which can lower the difficulty by a step per thing you add to it. So um, if you had knowledge, that'll take it down one step. So that would go from a four to a three, which makes the target number go from a 12 to a nine. So it actually goes three on the dice, but it's one step on the numbers. Um, 
Yep. Okay. Um, so hypothetically, if I was trying to roll to do something, uh, what would be my options to make that easier, like looking at my character sheet? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you have, uh, there's skills and abilities over on the left-hand side. Okay. Um, if you have, if you can spin it like, hey, we fought these things in the last room. I know where their weak spot is. Can I get an asset? You know, things like that. Um, there is a rule where if two or more people are in melee with an item, or with an item, with a creature, um, then it does drop it, the difficulty, by one. So essentially you mm -hmm. get like a flanking bonus. Okay. Um, there is, uh, if you roll a negative one, a negative one, sorry, a nat one, <laughs> my brain, <laughs> if you roll a nat one, um, I get a free GM intrusion, which means I get to make things happen. Uh, usually if you roll a nat one, it's not going to be a good thing. Um, you can pay one experience to negate me giving you bad things. You can also pay one experience to re-roll. Um, up top, up right hand corner of your character sheet is where your experience you should have four to start with okay so experience in this system is not about leveling up it's about getting it's wounds a during battle yep okay yep you don't have hp um which we'll get to in a minute we hadn't quite gotten there yet um in regular play i can at any point have a gm intrusion and luna i'm gonna pick on you again just because i know you're a little bit more familiar uh i can say luna would you like a gm intrusion and she can say yes or no uh if she says yes i either or if she is yes i don't either i give her two points of experience she keeps one and she gives one to somebody else who would you like to give it to Brett. <laughs> they weren't they weren't uh uh conspiring behind your back don't worry um, <laughs> so wait, you you pass on the the one GM experience. intrusion? To... Nope. Oh, okay. So okay. this is this is one where you guys are in a room, you're searching for something, and I'm just like, uh, Luna, would you like a would you like a GM intrusion? And she can say yes or no. If she says no, nothing happens. If she hmm. says yes, um, I pay her two. She keeps one experience and gives the second one to somebody else, and then oh. something happens. Now, it could be good, it could be bad. Um, it's a risk. So, as I, my example before was, like, somebody runs into the room, has the piece of information you're looking for, ah, yay, good job, or rocks fall and everybody dies. I was actually about to ask if that was one of the options, so thanks for clarifying. Uh, <laughs> it is. Um, <laughs> sort of. That was casual. Yeah, it is, but not really. Um, Okay. There is also a thing called player intrusion, which is at any point if you want to spend one XP, you can have a player intrusion, which is just the reverse of a GM intrusion. Um, where you say, you know, you're stuck somewhere or something, and you're like, hey, can I play, you know, do a player intrusion where I find something that helps us in some way? Maybe I find a book or, I, you know, whatever. Um, and then that's kind of where we had gotten to. So you're all caught up now. That okay. was the fast and, version. And for the for the player intrusion, you said that costs two XP? One XP. One XP. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, um, so the last thing I want to go over actually was your, uh, on your character sheet, you have three um, stats. You have your might, your speed, and your intellect. And you'll notice that you have a pool as well as like your current amount. Um, Basically, your pool is your maximum amount you can have, and your current is obviously your current. If one of those hits zero, you go one step down on the condition track. Um, if two of them hit zero, you go another step down on the condition track. Uh, if all of them hit zero, you're dead. Uh, so they are also, also your hit points. Okay. Is that okay. the damage track? Uh, yeah. Okay. Sort of. Hold on. Well, yeah, it, I think it's says damage track here that's why yeah there's a damage that's a hail impaired mm -hmm. so okay. i have a problem yeah what's up i can't open my character sheet why can't you open your character sheet i, I don't know i made the didn't computer you, mad at me didn't you roll off it already yeah, yeah it was open <laughs> huh. she borked i everything. can open any of the other characters character sheets but i cannot open my own uh did you 
Did you pop it out? That's what Prob- I'm thinking. In the yeah. left hand corner, you popped it out. No, I popped it out. Uh huh. And then I closed it. Now it won't open again. Um. Uh, oh, no. uh, refresh. Uh, <laughs> right. I'll be right back. Hold on. <laughs> that's all I got. <laughs> well, while that's happening, I should ask. I'm not supposed to be recording an Audacity or anything, right? Nope. Nope. I've got it all set up. It's going through OBS. Wow, that's so convenient. Mm-hmm. Aha, uh-huh, that worked. <laughs> yes. <Yay. laughs> F5 for the win. <laughs> um, okay, so, yeah, the last bit was just basically the HP. Um, you don't have, like, a hit point. When you take damage, it will be from um, one of your pools. What your pools are also... or Sorry, your current pools. Um, but those are also used to do stuff. So it is a more of a measure of exhaustion rather than like straight up hit points uh so nick as a nano you'll be using a lot of your um intellect points to cast your spells and such um not they're not really spells they're called esoteries but you'll be using those um and then if you get hit by stuff you will probably be taking might or speed damage um okay and uh, over on the right hand side you do have um, ciphers my brain glitched for a second you have ciphers Uh, those are one time use ciphers they say how long they last for do not be afraid to use them you will get more so think of them as like one time use abilities that will get recharged uh, if you try to carry more than your cipher limit, you will have to roll on a table where things can happen. And it could be anywhere from you get a mild headache to a black hole opens up and sucks everybody in. Oh. So. <laughs> okay. Although I think you have to have a lot of ciphers for it to get to the black hole range, but it, it is a possibility. <laughs> okay. So since we all started our limit of ciphers, presumably, it's good to use at least one as soon as humanly possible. Yep, if you can. Um, A day in this game is 28 hours instead of 24. Hmm. Um, So that's why some of them say that they last for 28 hours. That's because it's one day. Uh, And I think that's kind of the gist. Did you already mention what edge is? Oh, edge. No, I did not. That is something you can... um, So there's effort, which is something you can apply to a roll to make it easier. You can all apply one level of effort. Um, Edge is basically like you have a knack for using that ability, and it's a little bit easier when you do. So when you try to use effort, it normally costs three points from that pool. But if Mm -hmm. you have one point of edge, it only costs two. Does the point of edge then get burnt? No, it is. You can use it once per um, use, basically. So if you are doing things, uh, let's say you're trying to cast a spell and you also want to use effort, if the spell costs one intellect point, your level of effort would normally cost three, so that's four total points, but you have one edge, you're, you're spending three total points. Okay. Um, I think that's the gist of everything in the, in the quick version. <laughs> uh, anybody have last minute questions? Do I need to ask them now or as we no, go on? No, you can ask more as we go. Because I'm sure I will have some. You have no more chances to ask. This is it. This, it's this perfect. Is it. Ride or die, man. <laughs> it, it, I'm, I'm if, okay with that, too. Yeah, if we uh, ask a question at a time we shouldn't, uh, the, the rocks falling happens, it, right? Exactly. 100%. Okay. Trap door opens up just into a pit of flames. All right, so we're getting Oof. started. And uh, Brett, would you like a GM? And- no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I was just <laughs> Right off the bat. Do it. <laughs> Do it. I'll take two. <laughs> it's like, yes, I want all the GM intrusions. I don't even want to know where I'm at. Um, real quick, do you, any, do you guys want to take uh, just like a two-minute break to get water, go bathroom or anything, or is everybody good to get started? I will take a five-second break to put my phone on the charger. Otherwise, I'm good. <laughs> Brett, I'm do- good. I got my jug of water. Luna? I'm debating whether or not I care about water. Yes, you care about water. Uh, yeah. You Are freaking you sure? houseplant. Go get some water. <laughs> okay, hold on. 
Hmm. I only have two sips of water. Maybe I'll follow suit. Yes, yes. I have my jug. Uh, <laughs> I'll be I'll be good. Mm. This one actually, I think I filled up for the last campaign, <laughs> and, I and I ended up drinking beer instead since we were dwarves. Nice, nice. It only made sense. It does make sense. All the sense. Yeah. Uh... All right, so I think I. Most of what you said, I remembered, so that's good. And it makes more sense once you play. Obviously, it's a. Yeah, I watched um, I watched one video of it too, so I think I, just listening to it in the background was helpful. Yeah. Uh. Oh, I guess the the recovery thing. That's, so you can, when you do the recovery, it's. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm back. Extends each use extends how long it takes, right? Correct. And you have to do them in order, but you do not all have to do them at the same time. So okay. if you guys decide after a fight or something that you need to take a break and let's say Nick needs to use one recovery roll but you need to use two, you guys can all three rest for the hour, but um, they don't have to roll. Only, you only have to roll, and it, it goes up the track each time. Is is that a, a pool similar to hit dice in D&D? What, recovery? Uh, yes. No, it's a, uh, well, sort of. It's a, um, it's like your hit dice. Yeah, sorry. My brain was, like, still falling, because you said pool. It's, um, I think all of you are 1d6 plus 1, because I... Th That's what it looks like here. I think the Delve has a plus two, because he has a, a special thing. Hi, Addy! <laughs> um, so... I think that's everything. We can go ahead and get started. Oh, real quick, I wanted to say, um... Jack. Or Red Yoru, the Jack. I believe you have a flexible skill on your sheet. I do. There is a skills example list in the handouts. Yes. You don't have to pick one now. You can pick it when we get to a point where you're like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take that now. Um, that's so if I decide. use that, if I use that skill, can I use it like right before there's a task that I'm like, I mm -hmm. maybe want. Okay. Yep. Yep. That's how I let people do it just because this is a one shot um, and you, know, yeah. you don't know what you're going into other than there's like a time distortion thing that might be happening and is happening <laughs> um, spoilers I mean what No. alright <clears throat> uh, so the only thing with this is that you guys do not you would have been I lie Marulis you have the notebook uh, so that will work <sighs> here we go all right. You've been instructed to this place. The team has a notebook with some notes about the place from an explorer who previously claimed to enter, find the vault, but was unable to access the vault. He has since been lost to madness and aged exponentially. You are all aware that this place seems to change and alter the time and memory the longer you are within, but that its vault contents contain artifacts of great value, both monetary to the right sellers and informational. You're hoping to get in, find the vault, and unlock it to get the treasures within. The notebook which Marulis has suggests using Thalm dust to unlock the vault door, but many of the pages are missing, have parts that have been scratched out and annotated over, often in contradicting information. The exterior is roughly a three-story building with rings of floating debris that resemble a, resemble a spiraling galaxy. A plain door has granted you access, and as you step inside, the building gives you a sense of unease and yet familiarity. Whispers and flickers of light dance around you. You now find yourselves within the building. The walls, floor, and ceiling look like a bubble distorted, like a bubble or some sort of distorted carnival glass, but feel like sandstone to the touch. The room you're currently in has exits to the north and south, each with a small dark panel on the wall next to it. So we're just kind of jumping in. You're in this room. I I do have a map. It's not very exciting. Ready? That's okay. Ooh! Map! It hasn't loaded. 
There's map. Yeah. <laughs> like the there oh, we go. There we go. I'm like, why isn't loading? Okay. That's your map. Very Ooh. exciting. So you're basically in this room right here. The hallway to the left um, or east would be... Sorry, to the west. Man, I'm terrible with directions. Is uh, the hallway you just came in. Um, and so you're kind and of that, in was this Was that room. from the outside? Huh? Was that hallway from the outside? Yep, that's hallway from the outside. Okay. So that's the entrance. So if you decide you need to, like, book it out, that's where you're going. Uh, red, the red lines, means that there's a door um, that is Whoa. closed with a, uh, a pa dark panel on the wall next to it. Okay. Um, I, I guess... I would... Is there... Does it seem to be locked? Can I check? All right. So as you're walking up to... Uh, which door are you going to? North or south? Uh, let's go to the north. Okay. So as you're walking up to the door to the north, uh, like I said, there's kind of a dark panel on the wall next to you. Um, it kind of flickers on, and there's a series of, like, strange symbols on it. It does look like it's some sort of maybe, like, a touch screen that you can interact with. It is a... Um, presumably a Numenera device, uh, which is Numenera is sort of the catch-all phrase for things that are um, tech slash mystical. Mystical magics. And I'm guessing that with the party, I would at least know something about everyone here, right? Yes. It's not like we're going in. You're going in hot and blind. No. Uh, <laughs> you... I'm fine with it. <laughs> it's like, all right, let's do this. Um, you would probably have a good idea of at least um, others sort of strengths um, which is that your um, A is your your meaty fighty person um, your uh, nano so Marulus is the nano um, is kind of more mystical base I'm trying to think I believe you are the one that has all the Numenera knowledges. I say we smash the panel. Um, I... Let me see. Where do you are? Just a few that... She, she's saying I smash the panel. Any... I don't have anything that says Numenera for skills. You're right, you don't. Uh, yeah, so none of you actually have... Um under I'm looking for understanding Numenera so the way this works is unless you have a an inability in it which it'll say I I um or sorry it'll say something dot I Nick on the right hand side of it I means inability uh the first letter is either an I an M or an S which is intellect might or speed so if it says like S I that means speed and inability um, T is trained U is undrained uh, but basically unless it says an inability you can do it uh, so actually okay. you have an inability with knowledge uh, lore and understanding um, Yeah. so for me I have an I and then an S for understanding Numenera oh sorry yeah you have a uh... You are... I'm trying to open it. Why is everything not opening? There we go. You're specialized. So you actually... It's two steps easier for you. I didn't think anybody had specialized. That's why I was oh, confused. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, nice. so normally... in Untrained is just a flat roll. Uh, anybody can do anything, even if they're untrained. Uh, trained means you. it's one step easier. So if it would be a difficulty four, it becomes a difficulty three. Specialized is two steps easier, so a four becomes a two, which means your target number is a six. Hold wow. On. I leaned on my watch, and it thinks I'm going for a run. I am not going for a run watch. Please, please stop. Thank you. <laughs> it's like short run, not, not recorded. No kidding. It's ten o'clock at... Or nine o'clock at... So... Nine. Very short run. Marius would have the... Yes, Mar Marulus. What is it? Marulus. Yep. Um, would have the understanding Numenera. Okay. Right. 
And uh, uh, potentially the, the notebook that I'm holding might also have some clues about what to do with these panels, right? It might, yes. If you'd like to do, um, for that, to just kind of flip through the book and try to pick up on anything, um, that would be, uh, that one's just a straight intellect check because you're just kind of reading through the book. Um, you don't have to understand Numenera to read a book about it. Um, it's only if you're interacting with the Numenera. Okay. By the way, what is Numenera? Uh, Numenera is... Um, so it's kind of multiple things. The catch-all is it's sort of everything tech-related from previous uh, civilizations. Hmm. Um, the setting is that this is the ninth rise of civilization of mankind, sort of. Uh, so as you find Numenera, the tech stuff... It's from previous uh, civilizations that have fallen, and you may not know what it does. Okay. So, are the doors definitely locked? Has anybody pushed on them, or do they have a handle? I, yeah. When I went to open it, I think that's when the, uh, the panel started flickering. Okay. Yep. Yeah, if you go up to the south door, a panel next to that one flickers on with the same symbols. Um, so you're welcome to try to smash it, or you're welcome to. Uh... <laughs> that was that was like seventy five percent a joke. Maybe if, <laughs> if we don't, if the smart guys don't get it, then I'll try and smash. And she's it. like, all right, I'm ready. Um, so <laughs> I, you... I attempt to effectively read the book. Okay, um, so that is going to be an intellect six check. Okay. Because it is all over the place. It's uh, it looks like it's primarily in one um, one handwriting but then it looks like it's also been passed off to several people and it's got like one page might have like coffee spilled across it so you can't actually read that one at all and then there's another page that's been annotated in another handwriting um, so it's, it's kind of hard to understand and piece it together easily so a six means that I would need to roll an 18 or higher? correct and it should prompt you when you click right next to the word intellect there's a tiny dice um, which ah, means you can yes. click the word intellect. Okay. Um, now you can go. use effort if you'd like, um, and that will make it one step easier. Actually, yeah, I, I would like to, I would like to do that, especially since I have an edge in intellect. Mm -hmm. So it'll cost two points from your current. Okay. Instead of the three, and it will make it one step easier. But it'll it'll apply that when you it should prompt to say, "Are you using edge?" Okay, so I'll, so I should still put six intimidating for the difficulty. Yes, because I think the next box prompts you for. And then effort to roll. Yes, or one. So put one for that. Mm -hmm. I couldn't okay. remember if it was a yes, no, or a one, two. <laughs> okay. Oh no! Ooh. All right. So yeah, there you guys go. See, he rolled a thirteen. Um, he needed a fifteen. <sighs> Um, so you're flipping through the book and there, you can tell that there are um, there's definitely notes about the doors what they're trying to say is very unclear um, as it kind of it looks like one person wrote some notes about the doors and then somebody else almost like redacted parts of it that they scratched over so heavily that you can't actually read what they wrote and they jotted something in the margins in like really bad chicken scratch so you're like panels touch yes maybe lock question mark um can i assess the danger or assess if there's any danger mm -hmm. with this panel if i see any traps or anything uh are you going to touch it at all or are you literally just kind of like motion sensing getting it to f turn on um, just passively, okay. not not touching it. Okay. Yep. Uh, that is going to be a difficulty six as well. Um, and then I have a skill in that, so that. Uh, I don't. I'm not going to go with any effort yet. Okay. And then for asset, do I put one then for ha nope, nothing there? No assets. Not yet. Success! Aha! Nice. Aha! Aha! Uh, so this just is going to tell you you're trying to assess danger. Um, yes. 
so you, as you're looking at it, you're like immediately not noticing that there's going to be any danger. Uh, the symbols don't, it doesn't look like if you push one that it's suddenly going to like lock you in the room and, you know, start filling the room up with gas. Or, like you see nothing that indicates okay. um, that those are possibilities. Uh, it looks more like it's maybe like an open or closed sort of um, interface, but there might be some or additional like, features. Or like a keypad than a yeah. trap. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you're not you're not picking up any like oh my gosh like we're all gonna die in this room if we don't do this right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look back at a let's say uh do you wanna you wanna try this thing out? Doesn't look like there's gonna be really any traps or anything. You wanna poke around? Okay. Yeah. Uh let's see. Um... <laughs> you're just gonna go straight to smashing. <laughs> just smash it. All I right. actually have the ability. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have the ability to walk through walls. You do. Yeah. Oh, cool. You exist partially out of phase. Yes. Do we, do we know that? You would, as you're standing there, um, every so often you will notice she kind of shimmers, uh, much like I would say, like the blur spell in D and D. Um, how it's just kind of like all of a sudden there might be like, for just a split second, like two of her, and then they kind of merge back together. Is it a curse? It might be. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll find out. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to try and walk through this door and see if there's anything on the other side. Okay. That would cause any danger. Okay. Or indicate that we shouldn't go through here. Gotcha. And you're going to the one on the north or the south? Uh, which one are we working on? You were at the uh, south. North. He was at the north. I'm gonna go south. Okay. So she's gonna slide through. She'll be, slide. be right back. Um, she never so listens that... to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that does cost two points. Um, and I'm double checking. That is gonna be your intellect stat. So it's gonna take two points from your intellect to cast this, or or activate it. Okay. So do I just uh, put that down to six then? Uh, yes. Okay. And do you want me to roll intellect? Nope, you don't have to because you're just you're just walking through. Nice. What do I see on the other side? That's what I'm trying to get to. I've got all these screens in the way. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. I'm trying to get to my map. <laughs> I can't. Can't get to my map. Roll twenty always makes me wish I had more than one. Yeah. Screen. I've got like two monitors and I still don't have enough space. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Time for a third. I know. All right. So you're three's the only way to fly. All right. So you walk through and you're going to see that, you know, it takes her a minute or two to kind of pass through fully. Um, once you get all the way through, because it's a pretty thick wall, um, or door rather, um, you can see down the hallway ahead of you, it does dim. Um, so the lights get, get more dimmed than where you were. Uh, the room you were in had kind of like an ambient light, almost like the walls and stuff were like kind of glowing lightly um, enough to see around without any difficulty but ahead of you it's significantly darker uh, you would have to have a light source if you wanted to see easily going in um, I'm just double checking uh, as you turn around and look behind you uh, you see the door next to the door once you phase all the way through a little panel flickers on similar to what's on the other side Okay, um, I want to go back through the door so I can tell everybody what's on this side, and then... Okay, uh, let me just read that ability. Can I do that again? I think you can, I'm just double checking if it's a last for a period of time, or if it's a pass through one wall. Uh, yeah, so you'd have to spend two points to go back through again. Well, I'm just going to smash the panel. Okay. You're more than welcome to just smash the panel. <laughs> oh, before I do that, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, I have a crystal nodule. Can I put that on my yep. rapier? Okay. You can. I'm gonna. I say she smashes. She actually just pokes really hard. <laughs> with, with a rapier. <laughs> it's not uh, really a smashy smashy. It's not really a smashy smashy. Alright, so that does inflict two additional points of damage. 
All right, so yeah, you can, um, I'm not even gonna make you roll because it's a panel on the wall. <laughs> so you're just basically gonna pull out your rapier and stab at it. Um, I am gonna make you roll a flat D20 though. And to see what happens. Okay, so boom. The panel, you s poke your rapier in and it sparks and the door slides open. Uh, the panel on the other side just turns red and says error. <laughs> on our side? On your side. Uh, so the door is now open and it just says error on the screen in like bold white letters. <laughs> well, I fixed that's, it. That's, that's one way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the door opens probably to me. Um making a familiar speech slash gripe about how uh, lack of version control and documentation uh, probably <laughs> brought down society and, and inevitably will again. But um, you, you've heard it before. Several of us can appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Luna also does tech doc. So. Nice. <laughs> and then, you. and Brett's IT. So uh, yeah, yep. yeah, we can, we can all <laughs> fully appreciate that. <laughs> All right, so uh, there's the door to the south is open. Uh, with well, I guess we head door. in. Do you guys want to go south or do you want to go go north? Because I could do I, the I, the other door I, too. I think we're past that point. Let's let's just take the door that's open. I could smash it also. More the, smash. I'm, I'm sure we'll come across a few more for you. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. All right. Uh, so as I said, ahead of you guys now is uh, a hallway that kind of at the end of it gets darker before it goes into the next room. Um, I do have some glow globes, which I believe are just kind of torches. In a way. Uh, they're actually more like hovering, um, little hovering lights. So they kind of hover over your shoulder and glow. Yeah, um, I, I have minor glow go globes. Yep. Uh, I'll, I'll use one of them okay. then to... And you can adjust the lighting, uh -huh. I think, up to like 20 feet. I want to say either 20 or 30 feet. Um, so you're going to pop um, one. Boop. And it lasts for an hour. Feet at this point. Yeah. It does last for an hour. I believe an hour. Sorry. I have one yes. too, so I can activate it when that one runs out. I think right. have I have one more. Yeah. Do I? I also have torches, but these just seem cooler. Torches. Psh. Yeah. Nick, it'll be on the right hand side under equipment. I oh, believe I have I it everybody. I have two. Yeah. Uh what are we game? What are what are we playing? Monte Cook games. There we go. <laughs> I didn't have the actual core books open. <laughs> I should probably open those. Um Alright, so you guys are gonna walk ahead. Uh you just have the one go glow globe. Yes. Glow, glow globe. globe. Um, Glorb. What order are you all walking in? So I know who I'm behind A, wherever A is at. Well, A is <laughs> still at the door. <laughs> so. Um, I'll, then I'll... I was only suggesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in the back. Um, okay. I'm, I imagine I'm pretty squishy. So. Okay. Okay. I'll be in front. Okay. So uh, just so I know where the light is in reference to everybody, um, more than anything, because you guys are walking towards a dark room. Um, um, I'm looking for equipment. I think I have the wrong book. Oh, while you're looking, mm -hmm. I just noticed something on my character sheet. Um, pick one PC. This person knows a secret of mine, and I desperately hope they do not tell anyone. You can choose whether or not you're aware of their suspicion. Any volunteers? <laughs> Is it that you believe technology brought the world down? Because we know. <laughs> no, no, it's technical know. writing. <laughs> I, I don't think that's a secret to not anyone secret. we meet. No. Yeah. <laughs> and and that's actually ironic because I am technology, aren't I? As a nano. Uh, sort of. Yeah. Okay. You basically can control the the nanites that are floating in the air and kind of in everything now. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I have no idea what the secret is or who should know it. Just wanted to throw that offer out there. <laughs> uh, Brett and Luna both roll a d20. 
Alright. Why am I not finding what I want? Uh, Brett, you know the secret. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> I, I am going to write that down. <laughs> it's like, okay. I know the secret. The uh, secret. I know the secret. Okay, so I'm maybe slightly afraid of you and try not to get on your bad side too often. Alrighty. So, you guys are walking in and uh, Oral's leading the way. Are you just mowing ahead? Are you cautious? Are you, um, you know, singing a song? <laughs> what, what's your approach here? Because you know you're in a, a weird place. You know that there's madness, time changes, things like that are are bound to happen right. or expected to happen. Well, I'm highly trained, right? I'm not just like... I mean, dumb. you're a level one. <laughs> yes, I'm you're highly, highly trained, trained for a level one, okay? I know, I know. <laughs> uh, She's like, I'm going to say I'm one. approaching cautiously with my sword drawn, Okay, but I'm not like afraid. I'm not like creeping. But you're not also not like announcing yourselves, right? Okay. And as then... I see that, I'd have kind of my hand at my whip. Okay. And then Marulas, you're. Um. Oh, I have a knife. You do have a knife. I, I have that drawn. Okay. Um. Oh, and I also have. I also have torches, by the way. Just heads up. Um. <laughs> good. Good. All right. So you guys are are walking into this room, and as uh, Oral kind of steps through into the room. Uh, you are going to hear um, you're going to hear, let's see, entering the room, the light lighting in here is dimmed at more than the other rooms. You see against the north wall a flash as two men with madness in their eyes launch at you with their weapons drawn. The first one screams, there they are! Go ahead and roll for initiative. Uh, one of you ha one of them, sorry, has a mace, and the other one has a short sword. I want that mace. You want Ooh. that mace? <laughs> I want to claw uh. them with the mace. So go ahead and roll initiative. Now, the way initiative works is basically uh, they have an initiative, which is four. Uh, so their difficulty is four. Um, if you roll higher than that, you go before them. If you roll lower than that, you go after them. Now... Let's say all three of you roll higher. It doesn't matter what order you three go in, just that you three will go before they go. Um, and I play where it's flexible, where if the first round, Luna wants to go first, then Brett, then Nick, that can go. And then the next round, Luna's like, I don't know. I'm not sure what I want to do. But Brett's like, oh, I know what I want to do. I want to whip them again. You know, you guys can switch it up each round. It's just you three go, then they go. Um, so okay. we have initiative. Oh. By the way, just mm -hmm. to make sure I'm not doing this wrong. The orange numbers, like for for might, speed, and intellect, that's what we subtract from when we burn. Correct. Okay. Yep, yep. So go ahead and roll, what? and it is difficulty four. Wow, you rolled a twelve. Initiative difficulty four. Wop wop. All right, so two of you are going <laughs> after. Oro's going before. So Luna, bad guy, mace, bad guy, sword, and then Nick and Brett. And again, once it gets to Nick and Brett, you guys can decide who goes first and who goes second. Um, as far as uh, distances are concerned, um, on your turn, you can move... Uh, an immediate distance, which is your equivalent to like your five to ten feet, you know, a couple steps, and do an attack. Um, you can move a short distance, which is, uh, I believe, it's like ten to fifty feet, but that is your whole action for that round. Hmm. Um, or you can uh, push and try to move further than that, uh, but you would take some. Uh, you would have to roll to try to do that to keep from stumbling and and such. Uh, as it stands right now they will be coming at you they're basically within immediate range um you'll be able to move and attack in the first round it's not a very big room um okay so let me just write where'd my little sheet go my cheat sheet 
you said these are are guards like they look like standard kind of like physically based people yeah i mean they look equivalent to you guys like as far as how much um kind of armor and such they're wearing Hmm. so go ahead and it will be arl up first um okay can i use one of my special abilities you most certainly can I'd like to use impressive display. Okay, and what is that? That's arm. Perform a feat of strength, speed, or combat, impressing those nearby. For the next minute, you gain an asset in all interactions, tasks with people who saw you use this ability. Okay, so what are you doing? Because you're right at the start of a combat. Are you, like, whipping out a piece of iron and just, like, rebar, like, bending it in half, like, <laughs> to intimidate them, basically? Or... <laughs> Um. Well, let me let me hear what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't want to use that one. Maybe I want to use aggression instead. Aggression. You gain, gain an asset on your melee attacks. Yep, you can use that. It does cost two might points. I got plenty of those rolling around. Um, but it it kind of rolls in with your attack and stuff. So. Okay. Gain an yeah, asset. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use aggression. I'm gonna. I already have my my sword drawn, so I'm just gonna like charge at them with my sword, no fear. All right, and, and attack. I want that. I want that mace. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. That's for, mine. For reference, that one's mine. Uh, th- what she's doing is kind of equivalent to the barbarian reckless attack. For for your D and D folks, Got it. so she so, will have penalties to her defenses, um, when they go to attack her. So do I subtract two from my might pool? You will subtract two from your might pool. Okay. Uh, and then for the next minute, which is like ten rounds, because a round is like six seconds, you know, te- six to ten seconds kind of thing. Um, so one minute. I'm just going to make a note so we don't forget that you have this. And then do I roll my rapier? Yep. And it'll prompt uh, your difficulty is a four, um, but you do have one asset because of the um, aggression. Do I put that into effort? Uh, no, I think assets asked after that. Okay. It should prompt for it. It did. Okay. Oh. oh no. <laughs> would you like to fail and have something happen or would you like to um, pay some experience? Good grief. <laughs> First roll of the night. Okay. This is like I charge in, I trip on my own shoelace, and like fall on my own sword. Um. Oh gosh, wait, what are my options? Uh, so you can pay one, one experience to just negate the GM intrusion. Mm-hmm. You can pay one experience to re-roll. You would still have a GM intrusion, but you might still succeed on the attack. Or you can pay two experience to negate the GM intrusion and re-roll, or you can just take the GM intrusion. I'm gonna I'm gonna re-roll but keep the GM intrusion. Alright. So go I, ahead and I re-roll. Can't, I can't with that. Okay. Difficulty four. Gotta say, all the melee skills I've seen so far are really cool sounding. <laughs> They are more, um, yeah, they're, oh, nice, nice, you succeed. All right, Heck. so, this is perfect, what I drew. So, just for reference, I have a deck of, uh, GM intrusion cards that I can use if I don't feel like being creative on my own. Um, so, I drew one. Uh, so you are gonna go ahead and you're gonna lunge forward, you're gonna stab the person. Uh, you did roll a 19. So on a 9... Okay, in combat, on a 17, 18, 19, or 20, um, 17 gives you plus 1 damage, 18 gives you plus 2 damage, 19 gives you plus 3 or a special effect, sorry, minor effect, and a 20, a nat 20 gives you plus 4 damage or a major effect. Um, so you rolled a 19. Do you want the damage or do you want a, an effect? I'll take... What do you guys think? 
You you can choose the effect, right, as the player? You can choose the effect. Uh, and there is a list... I think it's on combat 2... Uh, I'm looking... There is... I think there's a list of some, like, examples, suggestions. Combat 1... Oh, where's that? Sorry, I'm looking for the... Where is it? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's miscellaneous. There's a list of trading damage for effect. Where's that at? It's on combat 2, bottom left hand corner. Combat 2, bottom left hand corner. You know what, I bet it's because I have it. You're right. It's because my screen split across the two, so I didn't... Okay, there we go. Can uh... I disarm him as my effect? <laughs> Is it the guy with the mace? These are all very important questions. Trade add level of monster to damage reduction. No, this is not the same thing. This is if you... So he's a level 4, and you would do how many points of damage? 100! Uh, no. <laughs> You're doing 4 plus 2... Is it four? No, three plus two, so five plus... What the heck is this? Three it and says three, three damage. damage at the bottom. Yeah, sorry, I was trying to find where I was looking for the damage three. But she has the additional um, nodule on right now. Mm. That gives the plus two damage. So Ooh. you're doing five base. Um, so you would do five, and then you can say plus three would be eight minus four so you can do minus four would be what knock down i think i'll take the damage all right so you're gonna do three or you can pick something if you want to do um like you could shove him back so he's not right in your face um you can kind of is it is it the guy with the mace? It is the guy with the mace. That's what you said you were stabbing at. Okay, yeah, no, I'll just take the damage. I want him dead. Okay. I'm okay. not good at math. <laughs> so five plus three additional points of damage. It does not look like he would take all of the damage, because uh, he does have some armor. Um, How does armor work? Uh, so on your sheet, if you have any armor, it will be listed... Uh, next to equipment there's like a little bubble that says armor I'll either say mm -hmm. 1 or 0 uh, I don't think anybody has a 2 um, and basically oh. it just um, with the exception of intellect based attacks it would uh, just negate it by that many points um, okay. all weapons mm -hmm. do a set amount of damage for the most part <clears throat> um, for example a light weapon does 2 points of damage but every attack with it is one step easier think of it as like it's a light finesse weapon um medium weapons do four points of damage uh and then uh heavy weapons do six points of damage so she's using a light weapon but she has an ability that gives her a plus one so that's why hers is three and then she has the nodule okay. so that's plus two so that's why she's stabbing really hard um so as you lunge forward you are going to stab him. Um, I'm going to say you kind of like aim for uh, almost like the heart, but it kind of skids off his armor a little bit, and you kind of pierce like in the upper chest area. And because of the GM intrusion, um, he sprays blood into your face, and you <laughs> cannot see until you wipe it off. Uh, so all actions are increased by one step until you wipe your face clean. <laughs> so basically, but you he look just, really intimidating. She just blinded herself with his blood. Yeah. Pretty, pretty badass. Pretty badass. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So, uh, it is now their turn. Um, he is not happy. He's going to swing his mace around at you. Uh, so, it's going to take me a second because it's a four plus one because of that, plus two. So, it is a. Six defense from you, ma'am, as he swings his club at your face. How do I do that? Uh, it is. I'm gonna double check the mace's speed because I 
I think a mace is a medium weapon, actually, because it's going to be four points. Uh, so he is going to swing it, and it's uh, going to be um, might defense. Or sorry, so it would only be a five, actually. Um, might defense. Um, where do you click on that is a good question. I think you just click might, unless you have something that says might defense. And the difficulty is four still? Five. Five okay. for you, because you have blood in your eyes. Well, dang. <laughs> Look, I'm going to use one of my efforts. Okay. And I don't have any assets, right? Or do I? Uh, you do not. Okay. You have, bl you, you have a detriment. You have blood in your eyes. <laughs> so he's going to whip it around and club you upside the head. Uh, Rude. For four points of might damage. Why? Why? Why are you no happy? You have armor, though, I believe. So it's only three. You're the one started the fight. All right. Um, and as he is doing that, the other one is going to slide up next to you because you came at them hard. And um, he is going to uh, shout, um, he's the one that killed, or she's the one that killed Rob. Get him. Get her. Sorry, I keep thinking you're a dude. Get her! And he's going to also stab at you, uh, but this one's a speed, so this one's going to be a six difficulty to dodge. Mm. But it is a speed defense. So you have speed defense task on your sheet. Okay. Ah, uh, still failed. Um, yep. Oh, hold on. Reroll that, because you underneath your skills... There's a little one that says speed defense task. On oh, yeah. Head. Roll that one, huh? Because you're trained. Look at me. Almost like I know what I'm doing, kind of. <laughs> no assets. Not really. <laughs> Not really. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Would you like to spend some? Oh, I will also say, any of you can spend XP for another person if you so choose. <laughs> no, I want to see this happen. <laughs> Two in a row, you deserve it. <laughs> yeah, it it's true. It's true. I'm right, really curious. curious. Rerolling or just letting it, letting it come at you. This one's only gonna be two points of damage. Or sorry, one I'll point of it. damage because you do have the armor. I'll take it. All right, so you're gonna take it. It's one, one out of my speed pool. Wow. Uh, it's gonna be one out of your speed pool. Mm -hmm. And I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna need another. Difficulty six, uh, speed defense from you as he uh, just is in a frenzy and uh, gets a second attack. So this Lovely. character's foe reacts with sudden savagery. It gains an additional attack action, which it uses to attack this round. Six? Yep. As long they as you have... don't roll a one, we're in good shape. Don't jinx it! <laughs> Look. They must have really cared about Rob. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who this Rob is, but... I'm sorry I killed him. Did, did you just Thanos? I don't even know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know who you are. <laughs> uh, all right, so that's going to be another one point of speed. Speed damage. Right now the guys behind me are like, why did we take her on this? I don't know. <laughs> Because she's a meat sack be and muscle? gets beat up. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're the one taking the damage. Exactly. <laughs> she's in, just in there Charlie Chaplining on <laughs> someone else's blood. <laughs> <off. was. laughs> in place. Eh, you got us this far. Exactly. <laughs> That's true. It is Nick and Brett now. You guys get to pick which order you want to go in. Uh, a reminder, you're in a... It's not super, super narrow. You can pass each other um, hallway, uh, but you are in a hallway. Brett's in the middle. Nick is in the back. So A is blinded unless A takes a full action or whatever to, uh, mm -hmm. to remove said blindness? Pretty much. She has to wipe the blood from her face. Let me ask a, a follow-up question. Oh. Uh, I have an oddity in my um, inventory. Okay. The, it, it reads, oddity, plastic bottle containing a spray that cleans any stain and never runs out. Uh, is that skin and eye safe by any chance? <laughs> um, <laughs> roll a d20. Okie dokie. <laughs> if it's even, yes. If it's odd, no. 
It's odd. That is so odd. No, it will burn the shit out of her eyes. There won't be blood. She might not have eyesight. <laughs> um, I <laughs> probably shouldn't, but it sounds fun. Uh, he's like, I'm... let me spray this bleach in your eyes real quick. <laughs> I'm a fairly, I assume, logical person with this high intellect, so mm -hmm. I do not do that. Okay, good. probably a good choice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was just a random thought that crossed my mind. I was I like, oh, no, no, that won't work. <laughs> I read the manual. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing it. <laughs> the warnings were clear. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, well, okay, that was my plan A, and I wasn't thinking of a plan B. Did you have anything in mind, Red? <laughs> um. So for movement, mm -hmm. we're, what distance are we right now? You guys are all within immediate range of them. Okay. So they so can get to I you, wanted... you can get to them. If I wanted to go to a long distance, I would have to use a full action. Uh, a full action will get you to just shy. Like you can move a short distance uh, without having to roll. If you wanted to move a long distance... Uh... I'm sorry, I wanted to move to a long distance. So if we're at immediate... Yep. How would I go from short to long? Uh, you can do it. It's going to be a speed check. Um, it's a difficulty. Not many people go that far. Why? Well, I have a bow. Okay, gotcha. And it its just, distance is long. No, that means you can just use it up to long distance. Uh, not that Got you it. have to be at long distance. Yeah, oh, so you're okay. fine. You yeah, can that... actually use it um, up close, technically. Um, I would say optimum, you can move to short range and and be better basically so you're not shooting in melee yeah i, I i'm thinking i'm going to do that i'll move back a little bit and then okay you shoot, can move uh, two options you can move past them into the room and there's there's no like attack of opportunity or anything in this um or you can move further back down the hall yeah i'm moving further back down the hall okay so you're gonna go back towards the the door you guys came in through yep all right and you're gonna shoot at him Correct, and I'm going for Mace Guy. Okay. Mace Guy. So that is a difficulty for to shoot at him, uh, and it is a speed. Or, or, I guess you have the... Oh, it says might, sorry. So it's a might. I think because it's a medium. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, pew pew! I'm not going to use any effort because I don't have that much might. Do you like my description? It fires arrows. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. I see that. <laughs> so, um, if you're not one here, I've been. You're you're uh, probably in the crossfire. So good luck. <laughs> possibly, I do have this whole stack of cards to use, though. <laughs> and it's a, nothing for the asset, right? No assets, correct. I already used up the nat ones, you guys. So you 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 don't have to use them. I did not roll a one. Nope, you just <sighs> whiff. Now you can, you don't have to roll a nat 1 to re-roll if you choose to re-roll at any point. Um, that's always an option. Okay. So if you were like, you know what, I really right. want to hit him, like, uh, Oral's getting her butt kicked, you know. <laughs> we, we, Excuse me. <laughs> we gotta help out. Uh, you uh, blinded yourself. Does she yourself. look like she's in good shape? I have him distracted. She's, I mean, she's covered in blood. It's baby hers? But we know it's not her. Okay. I mean, she has been clubbed and and stabbed <laughs> twice. <laughs> I could take it, you guys. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah, I, I'm not going to re-roll it. All right. It's too early. It's too early. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, Nick, you're up then. Cool. So, um... I believe you have an onslaught ability, right? Yes, I do. Yep. Uh, so that and... is free for you to cast. I'll just point out. Oh, oh, it says cost one. What but you have mean? an edge. So it's an intellect uh -huh. ability, and because it, you have an edge, it's basically free for you to cast as your ranged attack. Okay. Um, interesting. Then, yeah, cool. So I'm going to do that on the, the, the mace guy. Mace guy? All right, mace man. Go ahead, and it is a difficulty four. Uh, to attack, you can use effort. I'll remind you, effort to apply to the attack roll to make it easier, or you can apply it to the damage to increase the amount of damage you do. Hmm, one or the other. Uh, and um, it is, I'm going to double check how much damage it is. That's not going to help me. That's crafting. Go away. 
And that uses XP to do that, right? No, that uses your pool. Um, oh. So it, it would take three points from your pool. But two because of the edge. Nope, because you're using the edge for the actual ability. You can't use it for both the effort and the ability. Tricky. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Basically, take the total number of points you're using and then minus your edge. So in this case, you'd be using four total points minus the edge of one. Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to gamble that I'm out of failure and uh, that this is just going to go fine. Okay. <laughs> you are more than welcome to assume that. <laughs> I really yeah. like the way this group is going. <laughs> That's perfect. It'll be fine. So I roll just intellect? Uh, yes. No. Yes. Yes. Sorry. Okay. I'm, I'm okay, double cool. checking how many points that gives you. It doesn't have a thing next to it, right? Yeah, no, it doesn't. So, yeah, it's just intellect. All right. Um, I guess I'll use it as a... Um, hmm. If if they have one armor... I Well, that's metagaming. I wouldn't know how, how, how armored they are, whether it should be force or mental energy. Yeah, you don't know if it's one armor, two armor, any of that. Um, so. I, I probably specialize in the mentals, so it'll be a it'll be a mental energy and here i go do it do it do it difficulty four no effort go yay success, oh, success. Mm, somebody all right so are you doing you said you're doing mental yes all right so you see him like reach up and kind of like Oh, like grab his head for just a split second as it looks like he has I don't know if any of you guys have ever had ice pick headaches where it literally just it's like 30 seconds at most and you just get this sharp pain that like spikes through your head I think I've had that I have they're stress induced yay okay. <laughs> oh then yes <laughs> yeah oh um, probably then yeah. He, yeah he looks like he has that basically where he just kind of like pauses for like just saying he's like oh and then kind of shakes his head and keeps going. It does look he, he took the damage, so. Um, Mace or in his case, he sounds like that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I mean, you saw him pause, so <laughs> you have reason to believe it affected him. <laughs> um, so that brings us back around to Luna. Aural. A. Worst name. A. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Worst name. Um... <laughs> Gosh. The question is, do I take the time to wipe the blood from my eyes, or do I just continue to attack? You're welcome I to would... continue to attack. It will be one step harder. You, Your thing has always been smashing so far. Right? So I kind of feel like... Right? Just smash. Like... Yeah, you smash. Just... I, I would like to use my spear, though. All right, so you're going to bur... Pull out your spear and start just st stabbing. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yes. <laughs> I hope you Is don't that... just throw it. Like point in a direction. No, I'm it. not. I'm not gonna throw it for sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, my question is, when when it says spear, is it like the kind of spear with the blade just on top, or is it like the kind of spear that has like the blade on the end? Because I could swing it. You can stab with it. Okay. It's it's either a stabbing or a throwing. And I did okay. mark it both ways on your sheet because if you if you stab with it, it's five points of damage, and if you throw it, it's only four points of damage. Okay. Because it's melee versus ranged, basically, and you get right, the bonus right, right, to your right. melee. Okay, I'm definitely gonna I'm gonna stab with it. I would say you're not blind; you're just impaired in your vision. It's <laughs> it's it's like you can see shapes and stuff. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. It's just maybe gross. Mm, gross shapes. Mm, gross shapes. They're all red and gooey looking. <laughs> Remind <laughs> me of family. Um, <laughs> difficulty okay, yeah, four. I'm gonna, gonna attack with my spear. You're gonna attack with your spear. Uh, actually, difficulty four. You still have one asset because you are. Um, that thing does last for several rounds that you activated, okay. and you don't have to reactivate it. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Hey. Hey. Yay. I mean, you yes. at least That's hit my really name. hard. Yeah. Um, nice. So, yeah. Stab him and he explodes. And you do and six cut. more points of damage towards him. Uh, you can't see what's happening. You just hear like a... Ugh! As it stabs him. Music him. to my ears. <laughs> okay. Um, sorry. Wrong number. There we go. Uh, the other people who can see him can see that he's looking pretty pretty bad. Pr pretty worse for wear. Um, hmm. But he is still up. And Sword Guy has not taken any damage. So, And he's ready to go hog wild. All right. Um... And you guys have only been attacking the, the other dude, so he has no sword guy has no reason to attack you guys yet. Haha. -ha. <laughs> really? If she goes down, however. <laughs> you're next on the menu. I'm cool. I'm good. <laughs> Alright, so it is gonna be their turn. Mace Guy is going to return swing at you. Uh it is a difficulty four to might. Difficulty Five might. Sorry, difficulty five. I'm doing math. Is it? Is it might or speed defense? Uh, this one's might because it's a, okay. a uh, mace. That mace is mine. It's going wonky on the head. Hitting me with my own mace. I know. It's brutal. I, do I have an asset or no? You do not have an asset. <laughs> you still blood in your eyes, lady. <laughs> Look, listen. <laughs> Uh, you are ready for it somehow this time, and you sidestep just as it kind of whiffs by. You. Uh, it was supposed to be difficulty slipped. five. Slipped. Oh, I can reroll. Yeah, just reroll. I was gonna say slipped on the blood, dodged the <laughs> thing. <Squeak. laughs> Dang it! Or not. <laughs> uh, so it's going to be three more points of damage, might damage for you, ma'am. And then I'm still actually not the worst. <laughs> <laughs> You're still at not the worst. I'm still at not the worst for Mike. Cool. Is um is donating a player intrusion to another character during not my turn a thing one can do? Um or is I that like I'm gonna a, say you could you could do it on her turn, but you can't do it on the enemy's turn. Okay. Like you could and... basically uh temporarily shift your um what you call it, your initiative. As, as okay, part of your turn next. Yeah, and you guys are going to go next. Uh, however, you do have a sword coming at you, so I'm going to need a difficulty six speed. But So use your me? speed defense task. Yeah, yeah, you. Me? Yeah, you. <laughs> it's you. Oh, oh, me? Am I still doing this? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Am I still on. being... Sorry, wrong button. <laughs> She's like, I'm just going to click willy-nilly. <laughs> <laughs> difficulty four. Six. Six. <laughs> difficulty Excuse one. throwing out numbers. <laughs> Difficulty eight, one, right? two, one, <laughs> two, my lord, two. D difficulty zero, right? Yeah. <laughs> Why two, am I rolling? Two, my lord. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. So he's gonna stab oh, you one point goodness. of speed. So one point of speed damage, whacking you, stabbing you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like two, four, three, six. <laughs> All right. It is now Nick and Brett. You guys are up. Look, I'm not good at numbers. It's okay. <laughs> You're Clearly. a writer, not a mather. <laughs> exactly. So you, you've been taking a lot of damage, all, all told. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's probably a fair statement, yeah? Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, so I have a, I have a healing ability. Mm -hmm. um, <gasps> what? Yeah, let's see. Uh, Red, touch. our deal's off. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. What? I will just I will just flip flop like that. that. All right, all right. You should have waited for me to give you an XP point first <laughs> before you said that. <laughs> I I have questions, but I'm gonna move forward. Don't, don't ask um, them. Just keep moving. Uh, Barrel healing forward. touch. Um, I I think I am in range to just you know just run yeah. You up can and... kind of slide up and like you know grab a shoulder as you slide yeah. on up. Yeah, so the, the, the target then regains 1d6 points to one stat pool. This ability is a difficulty two intellect task. Each attempt to heal the same creature again increases the difficulty by one step. The difficulty returns to two after that creature rests for 10 hours. Yep, so Nick has to roll an intellect check, uh, difficulty two to heal. 
It is free for you to use, though, so it's not going to cost anything from your pool unless you decide to apply effort, Um, which at difficulty two, you only have to get a six or higher on the dice. What's the worst that could happen? (laughs) A nat one. (laughs) Chokes you. (laughs) (laughs) Heal! So yeah, you go ahead and roll that to see if you heal, and then she'll roll a d6, and she can put it into... I'll say whichever pool she wants. Okay, so intellect check, difficulty two. Correct. Oh, right. I will say because it was it's a major effect or plus four damage. Um, instead, you could do an additional plus four healing because you rolled an at twenty. So you just walk up and you're like one d six plus four. I heal you. Could could he use the effect to clear off the blood? Oh, or you could do that. Which would you I was like? kind of th- I was kind of thinking that. Yeah, like yeah, I didn't I think actually... about that. Good choice. Yeah, actually, uh, the, there was a little caveat in the menu. Like, if you have to do this, uh, dilute it with with uh, some water, and uh, it, it it'll just be mildly uncomfortable and will not blind you. So, <laughs> there you um, go. yeah. Uh, so I, I I do that a little bit, and uh, yeah, blood's gone, and, and you, you you got six points. six points. Nice, sweet. So they can go into one or the other pool. You can't put it in both pools, though. But nice I think roll, you've been chewing way. through your mic yeah. pretty good, so. All right, um, and you are now no longer blinded by the dude's blood. That's convenient. Thank you. That's that's pretty nice, right? Works out yeah. nicely. For Works out good. And yeah, then... sure thing. And then my party members are not apparently plotting my death anymore. So I mean, win-win. <laughs> one of them. One of them. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> Just the one. Speaking of which, I have my bow out. Okay. And, and you're I gonna shoot at No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimate betrayal. <laughs> uh, no, I'm going to go back for our favorite mace person. All right. And that was a four. It is a difficulty four for you. Yes, sir. And I will Don't actually be using own. one effort here. Okay. And that comes out of my might, right? Yes, that would be might because it's a might weapon. No effort to damage. Ha ha. Nice. So All right. Four no. damage. Four damage. Uh, so you just sink it in, and you get it to slide right up under that collarbone, and you watch him kind of slump to the side. Um, Oro can now see, thankfully, so she gets to see the arrow whiz by her head and slide right in there, and just goes <gasps> as he falls over. Uh, he is dead. And then more I blood splashes in. Yep, yep. More blood in her <laughs> eyes, and you know it's it's a bad day. Uh, and Oral, we're back around to you. Okay, I'm going to use my... Thanks, guys. Uh, I'm going to use my... <laughs> my new sphere. base? No. <laughs> I'm going to use my new eyeballs. <laughs> nice shadow to eyeballs. To attack with my spear. I'm going to attack the uh, sword guy. Okay. Ooh, can I pick up the mace first? You can. Can I pick uh, up the mace at all? Yeah, you can pick up the mace. Yeah. It's just the mace. <laughs> Actually, yeah, your eyes probably do sparkle now, like with a Mr. Clean effect. <laughs> uh, Jazz eyes. Just a little red. You are trained <laughs> in... I don't think it has it, but yeah, I think you're trained in all the weapons anyway, so it doesn't, because you're trained in all the things. It doesn't actually have it on the sheet. Um, yeah, I think you are, so you could you can use it. It does, uh, it is a might melee, so it would do five damage for you. Okay. Um, and it is a might attack that you can do. So to attack, you're you're basically dropping. We'll say you have to drop the spear or the rapier, basically. Um, but you're swiping it up, and you are going to swing it at the dude. Um, yeah, you put that all in right. So. Oh, good. Untrained. Good. Uh, yes, it would be untrained because trained Distance means immediate. Yeah. Cool. Cool. And. I feel like there's something else. You have one asset still because of your ability that you did earlier. Hold on, I'm putting in some very important information. There we go. <laughs> it is very important information. <laughs> I've named the mace Wackus Bonkus. Okay, um, <laughs> in case you were wondering. 
When you get a chance, can you type that in chat? I just want to make sure that I, I'm spelling uh, the Mace's name correctly. It's, it's yeah, it should be in chat now. I just put the info in. Yeah, there. it's on the, the little box. Yep. Oh my gosh! So you did Wax hyphenated. Bones. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hyphenated. Don't forget the hyphenated. hyphenated. Very important. important to our Mace an ancestry that we give. Anyway, um, okay. <laughs> so her image. <laughs> right. Exactly. I'm going to attack Sword Guy with the Mace of his fallen comrade. Oof. Brutal. After you killed Tom. Rob. <laughs> what was his name? Rob. <laughs> I, Rob. I, I think, Rob. I think Tom was the uh, the, the mace guy. Tom was actually. mace man, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um So it is difficulty four, but you do have one asset. And he has not taken any damage yet. Just for a reference. As she clubs him to death. Just kidding. All right. <laughs> Pretty close. Little club. Was, I'm not a failure this time. A little clubbing. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to do a little clubbing. A little clubbing. All Can right. So he didn't like that. And he's going to uh, <laughs> stab at you. It is a difficulty five now for you to dodge it. Uh, speed. Speed. Is that mm -hmm. a speed defense task? Speed defense task, yes it okay. is. Avoiding the slashy slash. It's difficult in this pool of blood from your fallen comrade, sir. <laughs> well, the five is because you still have that um, that asset activated. It's not a nat one. <laughs> it's not a nat one. It's, it's not. not one. It's not. It's not. It's You're still just taking one little point of damage as he goes, Poke. It doesn't make me happy. <laughs> Poke. So that comes out of my might pool? Speed pool. Speed pool. Speed pool. <laughs> to my lord. <laughs> to, to my lord. <laughs> exactly. But I stop saying that. No, never. <laughs> and then uh, we are around to Nick and Brett. Um, I'm going to say that as he was doing that and you picked up the, the mace and all this, he's like, no! Tom! No! <laughs> and he's like, I'm gonna get you again! Bob is oh. very upset. Bob. Bob, Rob, and Tom. <laughs> um, I will move my way closer into immediate range and use my whip this time around. Nice. To attack whip Bob. Up. Poor Bob. Never Take that, Bob. Him. They started it. They did. They I, I wanted to talk to him, but each time he stabs you or hits you. And I mean, I'm like, you can, well, you can try to stop now. him. I mean, you can still. I thought about it, but every time I'm like, all right, I'm going to I'm going to talk to him. Stab. I will remind uh, you that they said there they are as they attacked you. Oh, yeah. That's the reason I wanted to talk to him. But they're, they're doing too much stabbing. All right. It's frustrating. You're me. welcome to stab, poke, whip. whip. If you want, I Shoot. can put him in a headlock. <laughs> I was thinking that might be an option as well. Um, sorry, what was the difficulty on the whip? Because I am going to whip him. Uh, you are whipping. It is a four. All right. I'm not going to do any effort this time around. And then uh, I am trained in the whip. Will that come off That should automatically, automatically come off. Yep. Perfect. It's actually, Aha! you're not technically trained. It's actually just how I put it in um, because it is a light weapon. Uh, so it does Got it. take it Understood. down one. Yeah. So, okay. Aha! You succeed, and you whip him for two points. Ha -ha. All right. All right. So you sidle up. You guys are all really close now because uh, Marulis, you know, wiped your eyes and you know did the healing and got all cuddly close for a minute. And then, Real yeah, everybody's yeah. all up nice and close and cuddly here in this Am nice I murder <laughs> bath. Whatever's going on. Am I able to talk <laughs> as part like if I use? Like movement and action, am mm -hmm. I able to still say something? You are able to say something, but you won't get to do any kind of checks to like intimidate okay. or get him to to chill out. So I, I'll just kind of say, you know, we we could have talked this out. Right. Um, and I actually follow that up with, in fact, we still can. And um, <laughs> I pull out. Uh, believe it or not, I actually have another type of spray in my inventory. But don't worry, both are clearly labeled so as not to mix either of them up. <laughs> um, this one is uh, actually a cipher 
a level five cipher titled spray canister uh permanently causes a not oh it's a non-living object yeah uh he it might i mean tom. is this guy living though we don't the know other guy is no longer living. tom isn't <laughs> oh <laughs> there is a rapier on the I, ground that isn't <laughs> or i don't know what your cipher does but i was <laughs> just gonna I was gonna I was gonna float Bob up in the air so that we could talk, but mm. I I did not read it carefully. What about his clothing? Like pull him up by his pants. Um Yes. I'm Technically it doesn't say a non worn object, it just says non living and pants are not living. Yes. Uh, Unless he has living pants, then we're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a d twenty. We'll find out. <laughs> Wait, is 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 uh, is he in full body armor? Like it's a one piece kind of armor suit. Um, it's like, I mean, most of the armor in this this game is like your like a trench coat, or you might have like a leather like jerkin on with like your pants and stuff. Um, there's also synth materials, so he might have one that's like made out of synth. Um. um. I'm trying to go with something that cannot easily be removed. Oh, a belt! Everyone wears a belt, of course, or something. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm 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 using it on <laughs> his necklace. Belt. <laughs> 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 Oof! Not that twenty. You like accidentally kill him. Well, <laughs> you break his neck by yanking him forcefully. <laughs> that would be brutal, man. <laughs> that would be a not one. That's um, true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm. <laughs> wow. Do I even need to roll anything? For um, this, so you're gonna kind of run up. It says permanently. Just, just marking. It does say permanently. That's true. Causes this to happen. We could always remove the belt. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a uh, oh one d twenty feet in the air. Yep. I guess I should roll said d twenty. Yep. We'll see how far. Oh God! Wow. Eighteen so he... feet in the how, air. How tall is this room? Uh, I could. Well, the it's. <laughs> maybe like 12 feet so basically this goes and slams his backside into the ceiling and he's this kind of beautiful dangling um damage and because him? It, it is it is not going to damage him because it wasn't like forcefully it's just like he kind of went whoop charlie charlie and the chocolate factory kind of floating yep. up yep um he looks kind of stunned. Uh, you also all cannot really reach him at the moment, though. I mean, you can with your bow. Haha. What if I threw my spear? You I can could do spear. that, right? You could, okay. you could, in fact, impale him against the ceiling if you'd like. Um, that is Later. an option. <laughs> Later. But, yeah, I, I, uh, if I have any time left to say anything, it's like... Oh, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, uh, now maybe we could talk. Uh, I know the Rob thing was kind of unfortunate, but, you know... <laughs> <laughs> You guys didn't actually Tom know their Sorry names? Sorry about that. Oh, I guess you would know Rob. Cause, and then now Tom. And Tom. Yeah, because they scream their name. But you don't know yeah. Bob's name is Bob. That's true. He hasn't said his name. <laughs> it's actually emblazoned on his belt buckle. That you just know. <laughs> Delicately <laughs> embroidered read. on the front of his... <laughs> on his pocket. Yeah. Um, yeah, so he's up, in the, up on the ceiling at the moment. Um... Yeah, uh, I'm going to say he's not going to get a turn, uh, but it is going to be Luna's turn. You may attack, you may talk, you may jump up and try to grab his leg. You know, you can, you've got options. You <laughs> do have options. <laughs> you got options. <laughs> um, I'm not going to attack because he seems like Temporarily he's been... subdued. <laughs> yeah, And temporarily. you've got your mace. I And I have my mace, you know, that's the end of my beef. <laughs> um, Got my mace. I, I think I think we'll see if he's trying to remove the bell. So that is true. Or if he even knows what's going on. He probably yeah. doesn't. He, does well, he? For all he knows, he, he might be very up. confused for for the first <laughs> round or two, going, "What the heck just happened?" All right. Well, um, in that case, I'm just gonna post up below him with my spear pointed up, just so he knows that if he falls. He gets the spear. Look out for the sword. Wow. You do like this. <laughs> All right. Remember Tom and Rob. You don't want to end up like that. I'm pretty sure you go like, you see, like looking at me, looking at the spear, and you're you're just going like, like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. He's he's pretty. Uh. He's stunned. He's a little bit. Um. 
unnerved because you're literally holding a spear like below his chest where if he were to release the belt once he figures that out um you know he also might think it's magic and that maybe Marulus has like magicked him up into the air somehow and he's like whoa 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 all right all right um here and he's gonna like kind of throw the sword not at any of you guys gonna throw it off to the side like you can have my sword if, if you're just looking for the weapons thought you guys wanted the 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 other stuff though this this the shield we don't have the shield we already told you we don't have the shield i i i think we need to figure this one out because we just walked into this place yeah the third time about? no no this is our first uh and he's going to so the way he's facing he can't easily like turn or anything but he's gonna point like kind of under and between his legs across the room, there's another door. It's, you've come through those doors twice. How how long have you been here? Uh, I don't know. What's the date? What is the date? Yeah. I mean, you guys can just make I, it. I date. say the date. Okay. Um, it is... The date you tell him, he's like, well, that's impossible. That's in the future. What? Like, that... Do we have anything that would prove? Was there any, like... <laughs> I pull a newspaper out of my bag. Yeah, not a newspaper. <laughs> maybe maybe something in the book that would... Um, I mean, you can show the book. There might be some notations of different dates. Um, I will say if you start looking through the book, um, because it's not going to require a test um, or a, a roll... It's got, like, various dates in there, and they are all over the place from essentially what would be maybe the future, but it's hard to tell because there's not, like, a year. Is there an author or a, a name of the, like, anything, like, that looks more permanent? You mean, like, it's um, published? Not, not a, like, published, but other than, like, handwriting. No. No, it's, no. it's all mm. handwritten notes by various people. Okay. Yeah, it's a, more like a journal than and anything, but it's uh like it looks like one person journaled, and then several people have gone back in with the journal. Um, you know, my initial link says that a dream brought me to this point. Could any of this be a deja vu that connects with the dream somehow? Uh, mm, you've since you guys have walked in, you've all kind of had the feeling that. Like, this place is very familiar, um, but none of you have actually ever been here that you recall. So that'd be the best, the closest thing to that would be that, like, it does feel familiar. Um, you don't know your way around. You don't recognize it. You don't you can swear you've never actually been here before, but it does feel like you have. Okay. Um, well, we seem a little dumped i would like to use a player intrusion okay and uh to be less stumped <laughs> to be less stumped <laughs> um roll me a d12 d12 sure oh two okay so can i burn anything to get a better result <laughs> no no that's fine that's you don't even know okay. what the results is you don't yet. even know what the results are exactly Okay. So um, you guys are kind of standing there and you're kind of, you're flipping through. Um, and as you are, you are actually going to, all of you are going to experience this. Um, and it's actually, make sure you spend one of your XP, by the way, Nick. Um, okay, I'm down to three. Yep. Uh, so as you're standing there, you're all going to, for just a brief second, um, almost like you're watching a hologram of some sort. You're going to see yourselves come in through that other door. Uh, you're going to see it kind of like do that like glitchy, like kind of mm. motion. And you're going to also see the three gentlemen, the two that you just fought, as well as this other Rob person fighting. It kind of, and you're going to see um, Rob is dead. Uh, Oral is basically pinning. Um, Bob against the wall 
and like you guys are like interrogating them about a shield for just and you're gonna see this kind of like play out almost as like a scene and then it just kind of ends I'm gonna look up at the guy Do you, is that what you were talking about yeah yeah that's that's okay that was that was and he looks like he's yeah, almost freaking out. Saying he's that was the let's second slow it time. Down. Let's slow it down. Second time. How about how about we bring you down, and we'll talk all this out. Okay. Um. Can I not come down? On, and he's gonna point to the spear that's pointing at his chest. Preferably. I'm gonna look in the direction of A and C if she removes the spear or not. Fine. She like slides it down to his his leg like no <laughs> fine no uh marlis uh, how how do we get him down uh well i i so i wanted to cast it on something that you know not easily be it, it it's the belt okay. the belt's not coming down T take off your belt oh okay um He's going to like awkwardly fumble with his belt and then undo it and just drop. <laughs> Ugh, like... Oh yeah, you you might want to hold on to. Never it's mind. too late. Wait, to I, I'm, I mean, I'm 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 there because I know this is going to happen, and I attempt to catch. It's. I mean, it's not super super. He's not going to take any damage or anything. He's just going to play like. Oof. I'm going to let Oof. it fall. The get the wind there. knocked out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he's gonna lay there for just a couple of seconds, like <gasps> catching his breath, and then I'll, go ahead. I'll help him up, and as I do, I would like to see if he has any other weapons on him, as I'm helping him out, kind of like a pickpocketing type of idea. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll. Uh, a, it would be a difficulty. I'm gonna say it's difficulty three, uh, because okay. he's he's kind of had the wind knocked out of him. He's like not expecting that as your. Sure. You know, trying to do it. Um, Pat, so, yeah. yeah, go ahead and do a, a pickpocket. Hurrah. All right. So, as you do, you're just going to find one, like, a dagger that's kind of, like, tucked in, in like, a side. Am I, with that roll, am I able to kind of take yeah, that Yeah, you can outside? slide it right off of him because he's, he's yeah. focused. He's actually, as you're helping him up, as soon as he's kind of standing and got his feet under him, he's going to kind of just, like, back away, like, hey, hey. Like, I just, look, you guys came through once. You asked us for some information, and then you moved on your way. And then oh. you came through again, but through the same door. You came through that door twice. Like, came through, and then went through, and then came through, well, and attacked. So, there's obviously something going on around here. That, because we, we have not entered this to our knowledge before. But you have. He's lying. I say we stab him. No, no, no. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. I, look, look. Rob, Rob is dead. Rob is dead. You killed him last time. And 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 you basically, you and he's going to, like, show. And he's still got, like, you can see some faint bruising, like a black eye that's fading. Um, And he's going to, like, like, he's still holding up one hand. And he's going to, like, lift his shirt. And you can see, like, his side has been, like, like, stabbed, obviously, by, like, a spear. <laughs> like, it's got spear stabbings. He's like... You, no, 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 no! You, 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 you did damage last time. I do. Do I have to make a roll to see if he's lying, or is it just obvious? It's pretty. I mean, he's like sweating bullets, and okay. like he's he's backing hey. up to the wall as much as possible. He's like, please, just don't kill me. I like, I just want um, out of here. <laughs> hey, I'm I'm pretty sure he's he's telling us the truth here, or at least what he believes is the truth. All right. It doesn't make sense, though. And, and I'll uh, kind of, at that point, chuck the, the dagger that I pickpocketed over to the sword. And I, I'm, meanwhile, I'm actually feeling kind of guilty. I mean, I, I look up at this floating piece of wardrobe, and I, and, and I assume that it's just really for, like, you know, to complete the look rather than function. But still, as a sign of goodwill, I... Um, I'm using some of my rope and cutting a little bit off. And like, if, if you need a makeshift belt, um, here you go. And I toss it over. Uh, sorry about all this. I, I I know we can't really make up for the loss of, I, I assume, your friends, brothers. I don't know. Friends. I mean, we've been working together a couple years and I guess years. I don't even know what day it is anymore. Anyways, look, 
All I can tell you is you came in for that shield. We told you where we thought it was, which we don't actually know because we came into this room and then we left this room. And we got this thing and then we came back to this room and uh, we've been kind of stuck in this room. Uh, you, you got this, this thing? What thing? He's still holding up. He's like, over over next next to our buddy, my buddy, uh, there, there's a bag. If you look in the bag, there's there's a, it's a, it's a... I'm going to start heading in that direction. And he's going to be gonna like, I'm going to head in that centipede? direction as, as he's talking. Yeah. He looks like he isn't sure what to call it. He's like, it doesn't... It's in the bag. We didn't... None of us like bugs, okay? And it's in the bag. We just... We kind of sc scooped it into the bag. Uh... <laughs> like, you guys are all like... I, I'm gonna at least pick up the bag. Okay. It doesn't feel like it weighs anything. It, it feels like it's just, like, literally an empty sack. I guess I'm just gonna kind of... How Open big is up. the centipede? Um, are are you looking in the bag? Don't open it. I was just it. gonna, I was <laughs> just gonna open it him? and flip it upside down. Okay. So uh, like, instead of reaching in, just kind of empty, yeah, empty the contents. And are you asking him how big is the centipede? Or no. You, okay. No. We're about so, to find out. So we're about to find out. You you up in the bag and a few shakes. You're gonna see this golden centipede that's maybe six eight inches long fall onto the dirt it's golden as if it's like made of light like golden light and it kind of writhes through the sand a little bit and then disappears and then um, a few seconds later reappears and keeps going like just kind of in circles when is it oh go on i was gonna say is it doing the same kind of phasing thing we saw with the hologram similar but there's not the glitchy um, okay. Not that effect. It just kind of blips in and out. When it um, reappears, I would like to attempt to sense magic. Sense magic? Okay, uh, yes, it is does. one of my uh, special abilities. Um, after a minute of close study, you can sense whether the Numenera is, I assume it's a Numenera, is active in situations where its presence is not obvious. So you're waiting for it to disappear or to reappear? Or you're just uh, watching it for the minute, is what you're saying. Yeah, I'm just watching its overall pattern to study it. Is it is it while it's moving, is it moving like out of the room or in a specific direction or just kind of it's just kind of staying within like I'd say like a one foot by one foot kind of cube area, just kind of writhing around. Okay. Um after you're watching it for a minute. Um, your sense magic. All right. So what is it? Sorry, I need to double check what it gives you. Oh, I can do see that. whether we'll the Numenera the is active in a situations where its presence is not obvious. So even when it blips out of like, it's still you can sense its presence. It's there, but it's not there. Um. Hmm. You you said it's a one foot area that it's in. Just like a yeah, like I mean, it's just like kind of going well, in like meandering in a circle. It's not like confined to anything. It doesn't in any look particular like. yeah. direction. I have an oddity. Okay. That happens to be a square cage about one foot oh. that puts whatever single creature is inside it into stasis. Huh. Noise. Okay. I feel like that's got to be used. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got to be. I'm used. gonna kind of throw the cage down and see if this thing ends up kind of static okay uh it will you're gonna try like scoop it into the cage and or, or put the cage over it however we yeah put it. the cage over it okay um it will straighten like go rigid and it looks like it has gone into some sort of like it doesn't seem to blip in or out um marulis who can still be observing this um will get an odd sensation from mm when it goes into that stasis like whatever magic Numenera it has has now been almost like dampened with this knowledge I also have a skill that I am specialized in um, understanding Numenera can I try that 
Uh, you can, but before you do that, Nick, would you like a GM intrusion? Go for it. All right, so you get two points of experience, one for yourself and one for somebody else. Oh, um, has anyone else burned EXP yet? I have. Uh, then uh, please, take one EXP. Okay. Yeah, it deals off. <laughs> You're totally dying. <laughs> You're dead to me. You're dead to me. <laughs> um, so uh, as you're about to start kind of thinking more and investigating this uh, the centipede a little bit further, um, you are going to kind of have like a flash of genius moment. And you're going to remember in the book, there was a drawing of a centipede. Um, you flip through your notebook real quick and you find there's some notes uh, that say something about vault door keys three and then it shows um like you see a scribble of the centipede and then you see it scratched out and it says insect question mark thumb dust which is why you know you guys think you need thumb dust and then it also has something about um protection is the third key like a shield like maybe a shield I like the shield you, we maybe you we're asking that. about. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, I definitely share. Uh, so yeah, I guess this is probably one of three keys to the the vault, as is whatever the shield is, and then also the, I guess the bomb dust. Hey Bob, where's the shield? We don't know his name's Bob. <laughs> we've only we've only threatened him. We've never asked him his name. You have not asked him his name. <laughs> Poor Bob. He's God, still over there. So like... rude. <laughs> um, I will say he is not in or he is in the room still he's like basically just inside the threshold like pushed like he's pushed himself against the wall so he's like kind of still in the room i kind of look back away from the centipede say you you can calm down now i don't know you and he's gonna point to Oro, who still has like the mace in one hand and the spear in the other <laughs> I, I just mean, remember you you guys are the one that, that in our eyes jumped out at us yeah, they started it. O only because last time you guys started it. You guys right. just rushed in and started swinging and stabbing well, and whipping and whatever you do. And he kind of motions at Marulis because <laughs> Marulis obviously did something, but... I just uh, shrugged noncommittally. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm guessing with your friends in the state that they're at you might not want to be here anymore I've wanted to leave we've been one trying to leave for a while and he's going to, to motion to the the door you guys came through basically there's no actual door uh, he's like but, okay watch and he's going to start walking s slowly through the threshold of the like the door back into the hallway as if he thinks something is going to happen so he's going the way that we came in? Yeah, but he's fa keeping okay. his face yeah. to you, his hands up. He's like, you know, like totally like not moving quick or anything. Um, as he steps past what would be like the threshold, he kind of pauses. He's like, uh, he takes another like very tentative step. And then like a third. He's like, okay, okay. I swear, I swear before when we walked through this door, we came back through that door. And he's going to point to the door that's actually closed. And vice versa. Like, we we couldn't leave. That you might not might be able to something. leave now. And he's going to point to you and the, the insect. Um, I attempt to go through the same door. Nothing happens. Like, I, I, I fail to go through it? No, no, you literally just walk through as, like, it's it's a door. Congratulations. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, let's walk you all the way to the entrance. We're not that far. Okay, I mean, and he's he's gonna like reach in his pockets, and he's gonna like just throw some like it looks like there's a couple shins shins um there's which is the money um there's a couple like little items and stuff uh he's just gonna like basically empty his face like I you can have everything there's some rations and and he's gonna point to the there's like a backpack uh, th there's ration like you're you're welcome please just let me go I want out of here. Morales, we should probably follow him all the way out if he's saying that we're from the future. I agree. 
or at least to the the end. We don't have to leave. Obviously, we've Only we've got a job begun. to do here. <laughs> yeah, let's let's go. Let's just I... leave. We're <laughs> gonna go live with Bob <laughs> and live happily ever after. Yeah, bye, our, vineyard. Our new friend, yeah, uh, whose associates we killed brutally. <laughs> Brutally. Um, so you we guys just are gonna that. like kind of escort but again, him. They started it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, he'll he'll just be like, I, I, I swear, I swear, we we've tried to leave several times and it, it just never worked. And then we saw flashes, and he's gonna motion back to like where that kind of weird hologram thing sort of happened. We saw flashes that replayed several times. Look, I don't know what's happening. Is anyone holding the bug now, or is it still on the cage on the ground? Uh, I did not take it. I le- I would have left it. So, okay. I'm gonna stay with the bug. Okay. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. While you guys are walking him to the front door, I'm gonna loot the bodies. Okay. To see if there's anything useful in there. Alrighty. So you guys are going to give me a second. I need to find. Oh dear. Is Rob's body in the room? Uh, it is, but they have taken kind of a, um, like a bedroll and laid it over it so that, because it's sort of starting to decompose. They have been there a while. Um, at least a couple days worth, uh, of, of decomposition. Sorry, I'm looking for a box that I have somewhere. And I can't find it because it has my ciphers in it. Where'd my box of ciphers go? Um, I'll find it in the break. Because we're going to take a break here in a minute. Um, so you guys are going to escort him back to the front door. Um, as you get to the front door, are you saying anything? Are you, like, pushing him out and good riddance? Um, try sticking your hand through the front door. Can, can you exit? He, like cautiously steps out and nothing seems to happen he just steps outside like normal as he steps through I can't, is he walking forward or still facing us uh he's more he's kind of relaxed a little bit he's keeping an eye on you like you know just like side glance sort of yeah um so I'll say to him um, we're sorry about your friends I mean I get it we're all hired or whatever but you know like I don't know maybe the madness got the other version of you or I don't know madness yeah supposedly people go mad in here or after leaving here I might go mad who knows I mean I have seen myself I did see one version of that where you guys actually killed me that was slightly disturbing but it was only one Uh, version so if you're saying that the date we told you was in the future I wouldn't be too surprised if you run into some issues after you leave this place I don't think you're going to be out of it yeah I knew coming in here I, I might be messed up when we leave but I was hoping to get to the vault well you got to leave I'm, I'm happy hmm. for that okay I just remembered something mm-hmm. uh, and, and I guess I'm saying this in and out of character. Uh, I actually have a real belt I can offer you, and uh, it's a cipher. Here you go. Um, uh, think of somewhere that you, you, you've been to, uh, you know, previously, that's within 400 miles of here. It'll teleport you there. So use it wisely and uh, travel safe and um, don't come back here. So you're basically going to let Banff out. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I uh yeah, you guys are you well good luck. Good luck. Good luck. You too, buddy. Uh, um, you know what one one word of maybe advice? I I don't know if the place is the map change, the world changes, this place changes. Uh past the room where we're at. You can go left or straight. Don't go left. That's where we found the centipede thing. Uh and it's a that's where that's where things started getting really weird and uncomfortable. Don't go left. Yeah, thank, go straight. Thank, thanks for the advice. Sure. Bye. bye. <laughs> scuttle, scuttle, scuttle. He looked kind of like, he's still unsure if you guys are going to like 
surprise attack I, him. As he walks away, I, I would just turn back and start moving in to, like, out of sight, out of mind. Okay. Um, real quick, uh, Brett, would you like a GM intrusion? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> you would? Yeah. All right, take one experience and you can give it to a either of them. Um, Nick, go ahead. Why, thank you. All right. Yeah, uh, you guys kidding. are watching him walk away. Um, Does he teleport? He's going to actually wait until he gets past the debris field. Um, like, almost like he's thinking. You could see he's, like, putting on the belt and kind of inspecting it as he's slowly, like, walking away. Um, but if you recall, as you came in, there was, like, um, a debris field that you had to kind of maneuver through. He's going to wait till he gets past that. Um, Basically till he's out of sight of us. And out of the buildings. He feels like there might be a range or something. Like, he's he's weirded out. Um, so you're kind of watching him, Marulis, and uh, Red, as you turn, um, you're going to get this, first of all, a very strange sensation that you have, not just that you've been here, like, within the last hour or two, but, like, you've been here several times. It makes you feel very uneasy because you are, I mean, you would swear an oath that you have not been here before. Um, and as you're looking, the door that heads north that you guys did not go through actually is open, and there's a timer that says 27 minutes on it, and it's counting down. The door that you guys went through to the south um, is actually closed. Uh, Arliss, we e came in that way, <laughs> right? And I'll point to the south door. Yeah, yeah, definitely. What's wrong? Is it... It's closed. Does it appear closed to me, yep. Rachel? Yep, when you turn around and you see it, you're like, oh. Is there a panel The next panel to is it? still there. It does not say does error. Say it's dark because you guys are too far away from it. Wait, does does that constitute what uh, what Bob meant by "don't go left"? No, he said past no, the was... room where you guys found him. Um, I still have my knife in hand. I stabbed the panel. <laughs> well, D twenty. Okay. <laughs> you know you have. Last time. You have. A man up using my own heart. <laughs> It worked last time. It did. If it's, if it's not broken, don't fix it. it Stabby it, stab. It seems like the direct approach was working on these. So, you know, you I'm know. a very logically oriented person. I'm going to gonna follow the instruction. All right. <laughs> All 17. Right. So the door, and uh, the screen is, you know, stabbed. Uh, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Again. But, but the other side of the screen now has the red error on it. The one that's like inside the hall. That's just how you operate these doors. I'm so pretty sure. It still says error. Is, <laughs> it's is just the on the inside. North one still open. Yeah, the, the north, north one's still open. open. Mm -hmm. and, and it's still and, counting uh, be down. And beyond the door to our south, it now uh, like it, it looks the same. It looks exactly the same. Um, can I look at the northern panel to see if there's any signs of how that timer was started, or the door was opened? Uh, you are red? Yes, I don't have anything sure. for... Yeah, it would just be an untrained, um, it is, it's a difficulty six, uh, intellect check. As and then how would I roll, would I just roll a d20? Yeah, or you can just do, um, at the top there's intellect, the, the word. Oh, just yeah. straight intellect. Mm -hmm. And then it'll give you an option. Uh, you said six? Yeah. You can um, use, uh, effort on this if you'd like. I am going to... Okay. And that would come out of intellect? Yep. And so it would be two points because you do have an edge. So yep. there you go. Yep. So uh, uh, I'm going to re-roll that. Okay. I got one extra XP, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and then does the re-roll also take from... Uh, do I get to re-roll it with effort? Uh, yes, but it would cost again. It would cost again? Yep. Mm, let's go for it. Why not? Burn all your points. Yeah, it's only two points. Burn them? No. You can re-roll again if you'd like. You're welcome to spend I... points. You failed again. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to fail. Okay. Can I can I offer a player intrusion on his behalf? 
Uh, I'm going to say no, but you okay. could offer your own player intrusion for what you're doing. Okay. So if you wanted to do something that is player intrusion. I forgot about that. You can also change and say, okay, I want to do a player intrusion now, but it would cost you. Right. I would I would have used the XP for that instead of the reroll, but I wasn't <laughs> thinking. That's okay. Um, while you guys are doing this, real quick, pan back. Um, Oral, you're just stand there staring at the bug, and then you're going to go rifle through the bags. Uh-huh. Uh, can Pocket. you Pick up the roll weapons. me? Uh, I'm going to do this. Can you roll me? Wipe a... more blood off myself. Uh, let's say... You know what? Let's go with a d10. Already? Nine. Uh, so between the stuff that he threw out on his pockets and the stuff, there's going to be nine ciphers um, that were kind of amongst them as well as like in their bags, on their pockets, you know, like basically you can collect a little pile of nine ciphers, which I will give you when we get back from a break because I have to roll them and figure out what they are or find my box that has my ciphers. Um, I have a box that has them all printed and cut out on little strips of paper so I can just draw. Um, nice. Which is much quicker than rolling D100 and looking it up. Um, but we are going to take a quick break. Uh, what do you guys want? 10 or 15 minutes? I'm fine with 10. Yeah. Okay. I'm good with either. Yeah. All right. That we'll works. just do a 10 minute break. Um, that gives us enough time to run the restroom, get water. Make sure you guys get some water if you don't have any. Sounds I'm talking good. to you, plant lady. <laughs> And I'll uh, see you back at uh, 10.45. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Unashamed. What about you? That's wrong. Oh, it did. All right. So we're, we're back. It's uh, We're officially... Uh, even though we had a couple of episodes there in the new year, this is officially our first foray into 2022. Um, so how does that make you feel? Well, here's how it made me feel. We hunted all day on New Year's <laughs> Day. I mean, uh, New Year's Eve. Right. All day. And so by the time I got home, I was just out. So you didn't, and, you didn't, you weren't, you weren't there when the new year came? Oh, so watch what happened. <laughs> so the next day, we're hunting. And and one of my buddies, Murray, who I metal detect with, you know, he's like has this long speech about Happy New Year, and it's a new year filled with vision and <laughs> optimism. It was a long, and I thought, oh, I typed, I put, oh, it's a new year. I didn't even realize <laughs> it occurred. But then as we got, as I got to thinking See, about, usually it, it comes in with, you you know, you're used to a new year. So that means there will be singing and loud, <laughs> loud fireworks. Boom, bow, 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 boom. Well, Phil, that's but what never, I was going to say. Well, Look, I had a dream. Came out of everything but that duck blind. <laughs> yeah, but Phil, I had a dream. There were no fireworks. There were no fireworks to us, you and that's why I had no idea because he was looking up in the uh, air. It was a sad, so somber I, I put day. Two and two together. I had had a dream the night before that someone had started firing upon the house <laughs> well then it hit me i thought oh it was all those fireworks last night that's why i had the dream that i was <laughs> under attack it all makes sense so were you like dad did you come out fighting because well, dad has these fighting dreams and then I look had, out for the enemy i had a weapon in every every window Every because I got these little small. You've seen these little small windows at my house, which I don't know why they would even put them there. <laughs> but I just had guns in each port. You were I'm like, really not sure what their problem was. You were like the house in Josie Wales when they were having to, they were shooting that's out it. of the little that, crosses. That's yeah. Exact, yeah. It, that I think that actually tied in with the dream because you yeah. know half. It's always the, back to Josie Wales. Half the conversation at Duck Commander for twenty five years. <laughs> revolved around that movie ever since i wouldn't even i ended the uh interview that day which that's how that became famous when i see i made an outlaw josie Whale, wales reference and the guy was like do what now and i was like oh you haven't seen outlaw josie wales come back 
after you've watched that three times, <laughs> and we'll continue the interview. <laughs> so he kind of chuckled. But you were serious. I said, no, I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to Do you want to still work here? Is that <laughs> I said, because you won't understand the, how the dialogue goes. That's so, right. It's all part of the charm yeah. of the show. So, so I said that was that was smart because when he left, you know, so I said good move on that. He's <laughs> like, you know, you don't, I don't trust a man that how could he be here twenty five years and never have just come up on that movie. So we're so twenty twenty one is ended with the I guess the worst duck season in years. Well, and I mean, you can't. Can you really have a bad duck season? That's 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 good thinking. Yeah, I there mean, it, it's not, got no, no. Jace and Stone started going. Oh, here we go. You, know, you, <laughs> you, you don't negative. Oh, man, I, I was like, I was like, everybody needs to chill out here. Well, I, I will uh, say the only information I'm getting about duck season, because I haven't been down here to do the podcast with y'all, because we haven't been doing podcasts, is from Jay Stone. So oh, my well, my information uh, well, look, is only three, coming from Stone. We're three you know, minutes in there. and complaining <laughs> is way up there. And I'm like, we just need to chill out here. So Phil, <laughs> Phil, you know, Jay said, well, this morning I pulled my hamstring, I sweated, <laughs> it's through, and he said, oh, I got my butt chewed out over three woodies. <laughs> <laughs> but then I've I've already three minutes into this I've already I lost twenty bucks so things are looking up for him because he said you know he's gonna bring that up on the podcast I said no nah, he ain't gonna bring that up three minutes in three minutes. I'm down twenty <laughs> <laughs> so Phil chewed everybody out but what I've noticed in the Robertson family because really yeah we were griping and being negative but it's because we didn't want to go where we went. <laughs> So in the Robertson family, if you don't agree with <laughs> you try somebody, to sour the milk. That's well, they're like, you're being negative. It's like, no, I just don't want to go there. I, I don't know. Because <laughs> it was a lot more it is, worse. It is the way. You're right. Because if you make it intolerable, then somebody will be like, okay, just forget it. That's that's the goal. Yeah. That's what you're trying to do. Exactly. So we had a little tilt this morning. But when you're only when we only shot three wood ducks, you know, people tend to – Tempers, tempers get, get a little short. Yeah. Yeah. Look, tomorrow, if we kill a bunch of ducks, it's the complete opposite. Oh, everybody's yeah, everybody laughing and the giggling. Ducks oh, then it's everybody's happy, happy, yeah, happy yeah, then. Yeah. So, <laughs> High you five. know, men have a problem just in general and the as, as hunters just getting along when things are not going well. Right. So – it's just that's just the way it is. So you you know it's it's healthy. <laughs> when you said that line, it made me think of that in the movie in Taken. Remember when he's about to put the turn the juice to the old boy? He's got him in the chair, and he said, "You know, we used to do stuff like this, but the problem is in these third world countries, you don't have a good power supply." He says, "So the power goes out, and then we go to pulling fingernails and you know putting acid on people." And he said, "You know, just tempers get short." <laughs> <laughs> he said, but you know what they got here in this country? Plenty of good power. Yeah. <laughs> well, see, I, we're at a state. Jay and I are kind of in charge of where we're going, and but we do all the work. So I'm like, why <laughs> go work harder when the odds are we're going to shoot the same amount, which is not much. So we were, like, opting to go to an easier place. I wasn't being negative. I, I can just say I wasn't being negative because <laughs> – I, I had the perspective, like I said, there's no such thing as a bad duck season. Okay. I just wanted to make have a nice, easy boat ride yeah. out to the blind, watch the sun and no come deep up. mud. There's no no deep mud. We're stomping bottom. around in the mud. Hard Look, bottom. <laughs> I've never had this happen to me this morning. You've heard of that song, Stuck in the Mud? <laughs> so this mud, it, it's, it's hard to describe. There's a silt at the bottom, but it's it it almost acts as some kind of traction pull, like gumbo mud. Mm -hmm. So if you turn wrong, you just have to pick your foot up. But it's it's pretty much, what do you say how deep that water is? Well, it, the, the water is actually about knee deep, but, but after you sink down the mud, makes it, it's almost waist it's, deep. Oh, wow. Yeah, but, it's but almost a foot of it, deep. A foot of it is silt. Yeah. And so, that silt just... just yeah pulls at you that's what it's doing so i put the jerk string out and somehow i got the string wrapped around my right foot well every time i would pull there's a hook on the end of the jerk string that won't allow you to go 
and the, I thought the string was going to pop. So I was trying to get my foot out, but the more I was jostling on my left leg, the further I, I didn't realize I kept sinking. Yeah. Well, then when I tried to move, I couldn't move. It has kind and of like quicksand quality. Yeah, this is people so suction. I've heard stories about you know, this I, in the Amazon, Joe. I kind of had a, a, a flash of heat because in that moment I thought, I'm stuck here. <laughs> it's a, form, it's of, before it's a form of quicksand. It is. So I said, Jay, I need you right now. And Jay said, I'm busy. And I said, No, I I'm I didn't know what to say. I, I just said I'm 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 and I was doing that. I said, I'm 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 stuck. And he said, Stuck doing what? Because he, he wasn't happy that we were there. I said, I'm stuck this in the mud. The, this is the this is the, the atmosphere. <laughs> Get ready. Well you we, gotta remember it's we, dark. Yeah. You know, it's, we it's, still got a month to go, boys. And I have my He light. goes around and I brought some extra breasts for the blind and I said, Well, I'll just kill two birds with one stone. I'll breast the little four wheeler I've got. I got enough brush to put on the sides and top. Yeah. And I said, I'll pick that up before we leave and we'll put it on the blind. Yep. Still playing. Yep. He goes around and sees it. Stone does and goes to just we said, Who in the world are you there's scaring off ducks here? I said, that's not going to scare off any ducks. I've got <laughs> well, my four-wheeler brush. <laughs> Look, he tears it all off, throws it on the ground, and runs over. T <laughs> Willis, cut Willis as hard as to find the brush, and he runs over them in the mud. I went out there, dug them up out of the mud, you know. Come. <laughs> so we just got off to the wrong That's rock. what set me off. My mic. Okay, so we are back to recording. All right. Um, so, you guys found 10 shins. Uh, you guys are still in that front room kind of exploring things as she has found a nice little stack of uh, ciphers. Um, so I'm gonna just give you the list of them and if you want descriptions of specific ones, you can let me know. Um, as for you guys, uh, you know, listen out for which ones you might be interested in. Um, so there's a heat nodule. Um, and I can actually give you like the gist. Uh, basically, um, this one you attach to a weapon, like a melee weapon, and uh, it in it does a burst of heat when you hit stuff. Uh, a phase direct disruptor. Uh, so puts a portion of a physical structure out of phase. Uh, personal environment field it creates a basically a bubble around you that um, it's more like a skin actually um, that is uh, it will sustain a human for 28 hours um, a friction reducing gel uh, in other words lube <laughs> I'm keeping that one okay you're keeping the lube um, what was what was the heat one called heat nodule would that turn my whip into like a fire whip? In, I vote in yes. Flavor in flavor. Yeah. Yeah, I I'll take that one. Well, you don't know about these yet because you guys are still in that front room. I'm taking that one. But but when <laughs> <laughs> he's like, when I get back, yeah, it's mine. Uh, vocal translator, uh, translate everything said into a language anybody can understand. A uh, force shield projector creates a shield around the user for an hour uh, that gives you plus three armor. Nice. Stim, uh, it eases the next action taken by three steps. Whoa. Yeah. So you basically, and it's a, a pill or an ingestible liquid. So it's, you just take a shot and five hour energy it in one action. Drugs. <laughs> um, speed boost. It adds one speed edge for one hour. Um, or a skill boost, which dramatically but temporarily alters the user's mind and body so that one specific physical action they can perform is eased by three steps. Um, it only lasts up to 28 hours or a certain number of uses, and you roll a D100 to figure out which thing it actually enhances. You don't get to pick it, it randomly. So, and it could be melee attack, speed defense, jumping, running, swimming, sneaking. So, there's that's there's kind of fun. List. So, okay. So that's kind of what they are. Did any any jump out besides the the lube? 
<laughs> in the heat module sorry, once, sorry. I'm, once I'm back there. Friction reducing gel. Sprayed across an area of up to 10 feet. You have 10 feet of lube. <laughs> it You're makes gonna get things your own spray bottle. extremely slippery. For one hour per cipher level, movement tasks in the area are hindered by three steps. Would you say that's more or less lubricative than human blood? Way more. Okay. <laughs> Way more. I would say on a scale of of KY jelly to blood. <laughs> You're looking at, at, at one and the other. <laughs> so. Fair. All right, so you got, um, you're keeping that one. A roll a d6. Me? Yep. And that's what level it is, because that's how long it lasts for three. So it lasts for three hours. All right. Um, and remember, you can hold up to three. No, up to two. Two. So two pick up one if you have two do you have to get rid of the other one you can at any time you'd like you can hold more than your level or more than your limit uh but there are chances that things could go bad um i oh, believe okay. it's under miscellaneous no it's under the cheat sheet numenera pretty sure so there is uh, a column called cipher dam danger got it uh, it says, once per day, if a character is carrying more ciphers than their cipher limit, roll a d100 plus 10 per cipher that character's carrying over the limit. So if you're holding, if your limit is two and you have four, then you have two over your limit. So it's going to be 1d100 plus 20. So and higher rolls are worse. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm reading this list and I'm like, oh, okay. That one is everyone dies. Yeah, the 201. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a s tiny, a black hole. A yep. split second black hole. <laughs> Did you post the list somewhere? Am I missing it? It's in the journal. Um, okay. There's one called uh, Cheat Sheet Dash Numenera. All right. And that, that tells you, uh, that has some of the information for you. Okay, decent chance that nothing happens. There, Yeah, it's a good chance. I mean... At least right now. Yeah, and it says subtract 10 for non-volatile ciphers like pills or simple mundane items. So if you have two pills and two crazy items, you're still only rolling a d100 because the two pills are don't count. And if we've used one of our ciphers, do they count as being held still? No. Or not? Nope. Okay. Active ciphers do not count. Those have they were, so those are in action right now. They're they're a free slot. Awesome. I've already used two. Um, nice. So I I could see myself going for the stim and also that uh d that like d one hundred one, uh possibly a third one, but I'm not sure. Well, let's wait until you guys actually get back. She's gonna okay, yeah. she's gonna mull over what she has, assuming you mm -hmm. guys make it back without. She gets first pick. Yeah. Yeah. Because she could pocket I mean, them and not even tell you about them. I have for the friction reduction gel. Do I need anything else, really? I mean, that is pretty... That's pretty up there. That's <laughs> <laughs> pretty up there. But you are welcome to take as many as you want. Uh, is there any way you could send me the list of those so that I could look at them? Sure. Let me... I'll type them into the chat real quick. Just the okay. names. Yeah. And that way you guys at least all have them to mull over. So give me just a moment. And then um, think about what your next stuff is going to be doing. I'm, I'm guessing we're going to try and make our way back. That seems logical. Yeah. Stabbing, yeah. stabbing the door worked, so. Yeah. It is now open. I don't... Uh, ooh, maybe I could stab the ticking timer and stop it from ticking to zero. Ooh. Could give it a shot. Stab all the things. Yeah. yeah. Is there anything else to stab? <laughs> Each other. Just... <laughs> I'm going to start Whoa. whipping the wall. Whoa. Whip my white hair back and forth. The, I mean, Bob left, so uh, that's over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I, I feel good about that because I feel like every campaign I've been in, we would have murdered him. <laughs> so he might be our, the first survivor in any of my RPGs that I've played. I I tend to play goody two shoes because when I when I try to play like anything else, it just does not work. <laughs> yeah, that's I was trying to not fall into the same murder thing hobo. That I was do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, especially yeah. as a rogue, it's really hard not to. It is. It <laughs> or, is a, similar to a rogue. All right, so while she's she's back at quote unquote temporary camp we'll say for now uh, because she's a point of non-moving people Um, what are you guys going to do? Stabbing Yeah (laughs) Okay you're going to stab Do uh, do you want to do the honors red or I hold up my whip I don't think this is going to penetrate that too well Point taken Go ahead You you can use an arrow if you really really wanted to yeah, but I didn't want to. <laughs> All right, uh, go ahead and roll things. a d twenty for me, Nick. If you're okay. doing the stabbing, I mean, yeah, I, I probably like I look at you like, well, an arrow would be safer, and then you just are like, no, and I'm like, uh, right, well, you you do have my secret, so sure thing, boss. <laughs> uh, yes, the secret. The secret. D d twenty. Yep, just a flat d twenty. Fifteen. That's good. All right, uh, so. <laughs> You guys, you, you stab it, and uh, the door goes, like, just down, like, a couple, like, inches, maybe, and then back up. And then if you, like, lean around and look at the panel on the other side, it red error. Okay. I, I think that's how we get through the doors. <laughs> um, do, <laughs> maybe. Do I, do I get the sense that I successfully stopped whatever the timer was? Or, for that matter, what whatever the timer was? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the timer has the screen has now been stabbed and is no longer displaying a timer or anything. But but, but what what was the timer? Can I can I try and suss it out? I mean, after the fact, sure. Uh, difficulty six, <laughs> intellect. <laughs> cool. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use some some effort for that. Okay. So difficulty five now, right? But I subtract two intellect because of my edge? Correct. Yep. Okay. And do you have a skill for it too? Uh, He actually does, yeah. Um, Sorry. Wait, what? I forgot about that. You have... uh, Understanding Numenera? Understanding Numenera. Yep. Oh, so I'm not actually rolling straight intellect. I'll cancel that. Correct. Yeah, you would be rolling under the understanding Numenera. Good good call. I forgot that one. four total then? It would be. Nice. Okay, so click to roll, and I'm putting four for the difficulty. No, well, do six. Six? Okay. It'll automatically take off the one for the the thing, and then if it prompt when it prompts for effort, you can say yes. Effort one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I do more than one effort? No. Okay. (laughs) Because <laughs> it goes up to six, and I'm like, what? It does, but that's if uh, that's you would have to buy that enhancement. Ah, uh, so okay. which if you guys wanted to, it is for experience to buy, basically a, an enhancement, or it's the way it works is you spend four XP at the bottom middle. I want to say, yep, at the bottom middle it says oh. advancement. Um, and there's there's different things you have to buy. You have to buy four enhancements. Uh, four different ones in order to level up, and each one costs four experience. One of the enhancements is an increase in your effort, which means you can use two levels of effort instead of only I'm, one. I'm doing that, so what do I do? Oh, you're going to go ahead and buy it? Yeah, sure, I have five XP. I'll spend four. Okay, uh, so take off your four XP. At the bottom, you can put, um, just put effort level up. Okay. And, and then, I'm not spending any XP on this check, am I? Other than the four? Uh, no, because it doesn't cost XP. It costs uh, from your pools. Okay, so now I'm changing my effort stat to two. Correct. Great. I'm using two effort, so I guess that's two more intellect spent. Uh, it actually is going to be... Let me double check, because it does have a weird... It's one thing people don't usually... 
The timer's ominous. I, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this timer business. <laughs> Countdowns Modify never count down to anything great. Effort. Yeah. It's like everything's going to explode, and uh, that's about the only thing I can think of in popular media. Okay, so... <laughs> that ain't no New Year's countdown. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. If you have zero edge, it costs three points for the first level of effort, plus two points for each additional. So it's three, two, 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 right? So if you're doing okay. six tiers, you know, it'd be three plus two times five... Sorry, two, yeah, two. So it'd be 13 total points. Just saying, if you were using the max amount of effort, you could... But Dang. you have edge, right? So you get to minus yes. that amount of edge from that, essentially. Um, in this case, you only have one edge. So you can only take off one point. So you would use five points normally, but you get one point from your edge. So it's only four points total for you. Okay, so I've already taken two out. So now I'm taking two more out. Correct. Uh, okay. Although I think when you roll, it will tell you the cost as well. Oh, that's true. Okay, effort to roll two. Submit. All right. Yeah, and see there it shows at the very bottom five plus zero minus one. I just barely succeeded in that, didn't I? You, uh, yes, you rolled a sixteen. You needed a fifteen. Fifteen. Did that check? Hold on. Six five difficulty four. Six. Three, the difficulty oh. was four. Oh, yeah, it yeah. Gone the difficulty. No, the difficulty was two. Oh, two. He's specialized, so that's two levels off. Oh, and then, oh, wow. And then he has he applied two levels of effort, so it came down four total levels. levels. So you just had to beat a six. Oh. Yeah. Well, now that feels I forgot you were specialized. <laughs> well, that's okay. <laughs> I really wanted to succeed at this, so. Yeah. So you, you did succeed. Um, yeah. So you're, you're kind of looking at the timer thing that you stabbed you lean around you're looking at the error and you flip through your book there's some jot random notes about timers doors locks things not locking things unlocking there is one tiny footnote on one of the pages that you find that says um it does end up talking about sort of some of the timers seem to indicate the door remaining locked in a position either in the up or down so what you can deduce is that basically if you manage to unlock it a timer starts or if you manage to lock it a timer starts at which point it will then switch to either the locked or unlocked position correct which so, doesn't really matter if we're just stabbing our way through anyway correct <laughs> but if you were to walk up and stab a door and it somehow hits the button that says it's locked, you aren't going to know how long it's going to stay locked for because you've stabbed the screen. Hmm. What's the odds of that? Um, they're higher well, than probably. you think, but you guys have been rolling really well. <laughs> uh, I rebuke that. On Not the all doors. Of us have been... okay. On the doors. Uh, when it matters. When it matters. <laughs> yeah. Uh, on the inanimate objects, we, we've been crushing it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And um, job picks, got it. <laughs> I would like to use my flex skill to okay. uh, become trained in perception. Okay. Um, is that one of the lists on the list? I can't remember if that's yes. Okay, I'm like I know that's a D and D term, but I couldn't remember if it was. On yeah, I, I looked at it. Went, oh yeah, I know that one. All right. So um, currently, you have both doors in the up position with errors on the hallway side we'll say because you switched your door from originally um what would you guys like to do now um go back i guess yeah i think we meet up okay uh so you guys are heading back and um Oral, you're going to hear them. Maybe, I'm assuming you guys are talking about maybe the doors and stuff as you're heading back. Oral, you'll hear them starting to come down the hall. Uh, what are you going to do with your pile of ciphers and shin? Shins. <laughs> Every time you say that, I think of, like, human shins. Yeah, you just have a pile of shins. Didn't you know that? <laughs> you actually could. You could have at least four right now. Exactly. 
<laughs> Any amount of shins is a pile if you try hard enough and believe exactly. in yourself. <laughs> um, oh, oh. <laughs> I, I, I really thought about that, and I'm done thinking about that. <laughs> best not to. Best yeah, not I'm to. just going to lay out all the ciphers except for the lubricating gel. Friction. Be like, was it friction? Reduction gel. Reduction. Friction. I literally wrote it down. I have it right in front of me. I just couldn't find the slip. <laughs> FRG gel in a spray canister. That one's oh, mine. Right. Um, I'd just be like, hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I found treasure. Okay, as you guys are walking into the room, the uh -oh. two of yous, the two of <laughs> yous, uh -oh. you don't experience this, Arl, but uh, Brett and Nate. Yeah. Um, so Brett, uh, yeah, so you're gonna walk in and, uh, so unimportant recent memories were, are altered, um, such as who entered first. So maybe you walk in first and then for some reason you're like, how'd I get in front of Nick? Or, or sorry, how'd I get in front of Marulis? Like it just, something isn't tracking. Um... Marulis, you are hit with... Okay, you have been in this room before. Yes. <laughs> but now you feel like you've been in this room before, before. And before, before, before. Like, you're like, wow. No, I've definitely been... Like, I've definitely come through that door. Like, across the hall. <laughs> okay, I haven't actually taken the stem yet, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> You're feeling really, really weird. Um, it, <laughs> these only last for a few seconds each time, but you guys are like, huh. Like, something's not tracking. Does the, So the altered memory is only for like a quick second, like I would, and then kind of go, oh no, I was first? You're like, I came in or... first. And then you're like, no, did I come in first? Yeah, I came in No, I definitely didn't come in first. He came in first. No, Oro so came like in first. Life. Yeah, like you were just literally trying to figure out who came in first for some reason. Not that it matters, actually, but it just messes with your head. I'll actually stop walking at that point and just kind of look behind me, look around, and kind of start moving again. I, I actually stop too, and um, I, um, I seem to be doing the same thing, and I'm, I'm like, haven't we been in this room greater than or equal to four times? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you guys take drugs while you were gone. They did so many drugs. You know the rule is you always share. <laughs> There's something about this place. I I think that whenever we enter this room from that way, maybe it's doing weird things. So let's try not to do that again. Yeah, I think we if we want to get this done, we should move forward before before going backwards? Yeah. Okay. Sounds good to me. Get so, your bug. So the scene before you is Arl with bug and cage and a plethora of ciphers laid out for you. And she's, I almost picture you like a bazaar, like, wares, I got wares. What you want? <laughs> um, I would like to take the heat node. Okay. And... I guess before I do that, mm -hmm. I have an injector. Okay. And would that be usable on the uh, centipede? Ooh. Where it allows the user to mentally control a target device at a long range for 40 minutes. Whoa. I'm going to say no. Damn. Because really the centipede, centipede is technically pseudo-alive. Okay. It's not. It's not really a device. Okay. Womp womp. Yeah. Also, it, I'm curious. Is it just uh, gold colored, or is it actually metallic to the point that injecting it would be? It looks difficult? like light. It almost looks like it's made of light. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So it doesn't look. Uh, since nobody's like handled it or anything, you just literally stuffed it in a cage. Um, <laughs> 
you know, you, you can't tell what it feels like or anything, but it, looking at it, it just looks like light. <laughs> um, don't don't is touch the, it. The cage itself, mm -hmm. could I carry it around in the cage? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not okay. very big. I mean, I imagine you had it in your bag or whatever, so yeah, you're able to just... Well, it was more of, will the caterpillar stay in the cage as I'm walking around with it? I mean, it, you haven't tried it... to pick it up yet, so... All right, <laughs> um, and then I guess back to the cipher, the heat nodule. The uh, what is the actual benefit of that other than putting it on my weapon and it does cool fire? So for the next twenty-eight hours, well, first roll one d six real quick. Five. Was that the level? Yep. All right. So for the next twenty-eight hours, each time the weapon nodule is attached to. Each time the weapon, the nodule is attached to, strikes a solid creature or object, it generates a burst of heat, inflicting an additional three points of fire. Nice. Ooh. Because it's level five. Um, Dang. Uh, three points of damage. So, so Perfect. it will do that. Nice. Yeah, it's uh, it's normally um, two points. It's three points if the level is four or higher, and four points if it's level six. Uh, I'm gonna throw that on my whip. Okay. So just make a note that it's your whip is yep. now whatever plus the three additional. So you still have slots then. Would that go in the mod category? Uh, no, that would go in... I would just add it to the just damage. Go from two to five. Yeah. Add it to the damage. Because I put my crystal nodule on my rapier and did not do that. Okay, yeah, if you put it on mod, that actually is... That mods your rolls versus okay. your damage. So you want to put it on... Just add to the damage. Okay, cool. I mean, in theory, unless you guys end up taking a 10-hour rest, you will still be in the same day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, which reminds um, me, I didn't make notes. Does anyone want any of the other... What is the force shield projector again? Force shield projector. I want to know about that one and the phase disruptor. Roll me a d6 real quick, please, ma'am. Boom. A five. Nick, roll me a d6. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Two. Um, all right, so the force shield projector is that. Uh, it's a subdermal injection or a wearable belt ring or bracelet or a handheld device. Um, it creates a shimmering shield, a shimmering energy shield around the user for one hour, during which time they gain a plus three armor. Interesting. Okay, and then what was the other one? Um, the other one I wanted to know about was the phase disruptor. Phase disruptor. So that would be four. Uh, so it's a complex device, a plate that fixes to the surface, or an elaborate sp spray atomizer. But puts a portion of a physical structure, like a wall or floor, out of phase for one hour. It affects an area equal to a f to one five-foot cube per cipher level and is a cipher level four. So you can do up to 20 square feet in cubes. Um... Oh. I want that one also, please. Okay. And it says, while the area is out of phase, creatures and objects can pass freely through it as if it were not there. Although one cannot see through it, and it blocks light. So you're taking that one? Yes. Okay. So, uh, um, I believe the ones uh, currently not taken are the ones I'm most interested in, anyway. Um, I mean, there's so... several, but yes. <laughs> Skill oh. boost, speed boost... STEM, force shield projector, vocal translator, and personal environment shield are all not used or taken. Okay, so stuff um, all in your pockets. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I don't want to. I don't want to activate a black hole, so I'm Do, going to. I'm you going to actually, approach this. I don't uh, think you can because I don't think you'd have enough to get to two hundred. 
yeah. you should try anyway. But yeah, I totally vote for trying. No. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, um, I'm gonna <laughs> take the um, I'm gonna take the the skill boost and immediately use it because that's like the D100 thing, right? Yep, and it lasts for 28 hours, so you can go ahead okay. and take it now, and it'll last for the rest of the day plus some of the next day. Okay. All right. Well, hold on. I rolled D6, a 36. D6 first. Oh, my bad. Five. Five. Okay. So it's a level five. Uh, roll me a uh, another d6. Okay. Two. Okay, so it is a pill. Um, and then effect. Uh, da -da -da dramatically it alters my so one specific. Did you want to keep the 36 or do you want to re-roll? I'll keep the 36. Why not? Okay. Once activated, this boost can be used a number of times equal to the cipher's level, so it can be used five times. Oh. This uh, this boost. Uh, within the forty or within the within time period, twenty-eight right? hours. Yep. Uh, the boost takes effect each time the action is performed. So you don't have a choice of like turning it off and on; it just happens, but it only happens a certain number of times. All right, okay. and you rolled 36 yes. speed defense. It's pretty good. Oh, and all right. Once activated, so what does it do? Do, do? And it eases it by three steps. OK, so, do I have to change anything on my sheet for that? Uh, You know what, if you want, let me, I can add it real quick. Um, under your skills. I'm going to just Skills. add speed boost pill. OK. Um, and this would make it, whoops, not untrained. Why are you doing this? Uh, dang it, it only lets me do specialized, though. I'm going to put plus one at the end so that we know to add an additional plus one asset. OK. OK. So basically, because you get three, three eases, so you'll get one asset plus your specialized, so that'll make it times three. Awesome. Um, and then I'm going to do a five, so you know how many and, uses you have. And that's specifically for defense. Speed, yes, I should add speed defense boost. There you go. So it should be on your awesome. sheet now. Yes, I see it. All right, nice and easy. All right. Yeah, OK, so next, because uh, I'm apparently a, a, you know very drug addled now. <laughs> He's like, um, yeah, drugs, 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 drugs. <laughs> um, do them all. So um, the the skill boost, I believe, uh, is something that just lasts for an hour, and it's a skill of my choice. Is that right? Oh no, that's the one you just used. That's the skill boost. Uh, oh, sorry, I meant the the stem, I suppose. The stem. No, that is not even a time based one. It's literally the next action. Whatever the action is. So I'll pick the stem up. So you just basically and then go. And the next thing you do is three steps easier. OK, I'll wait to use that. OK. Uh, and that means I still have room for one more thing. You have room for four more things, I think, because there's four more still available. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Chaos, chaos, chaos. Uh, the vocal translator, uh, What? What? Um, how long does that last once used? 28 hours. Per cipher I... level. Per cipher level. So roll a one d six. Okay. <laughs> so five days basically. So I immediately use that. Okay. Uh, real quick, roll another d six. What does this determine? Uh, just what kind it is. Another five. Um, another five. It is another pill. <laughs> He's just popping all these pills over there. <laughs> I it's feel working. Like, I feel like it's they're, they're literally just like pills, not even in like a little like tear package or anything. It's just a pill with like a little label on it. And he's like, yep. <laughs> I, I do check the pile to see if there are any instructions about things I should not mix it with, alcohol, other mysterious pills, etc. No instructions. There's, there's nothing. So just go. it's good to go. Yep, just, yep. go. just go. Just do it. 
I would normally make, there's actually a lot of like checks to figure out what these do, what they can't do and all that, but we're just kind of bypassing it because it's one shot. Um, awesome. So there's three left. There's a speed boost, uh, which lasts for one hour. Oh, well, that, that seems like something I can just Im uh, immediately pop as well. If you'd like. <laughs> <laughs> do it. If it's going to be a pill. We know it is. No, no, no. Uh, I'm going to have I'll... you roll. One, two, three, four, five. Roll a d10. D10. Here you go. Ten. It's <laughs> even it's better. A it's a syringe. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. He's uh, like, pill, pill, stab. All right, I'm does, ready. Let's go. How does that work for someone with a, a nano body? Hmm. It's a regular body. You just have, you might have some enhancements, but. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah, right, everybody's right, still right, human. Right, right in, right in a vital artery. Just. <laughs> He's like, yeah. yeah. We're all here today because we care about you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so you have plus one to your speed edge for one hour. I will just change that for now. Oh, actually, I'm... real quick, roll a d6. Oh, okay. Is this to see whether it was a... Well, no, wait, we've no. established it Five, wasn't. Five, six, seven. Uh, I lie. It's going to be plus two to your speed edge for an hour. Oh. <gasps> okay. So fast. So I'm just gonna mark this... that you used it. You did not use the stem yet. The vocal um, translator, Nick, used. <laughs> just oh marking. right, right. I, I I picked up the stem, so I'll just add that to my sheet. Nick, check. All right, I think I'm, I'm getting them all. Marked off. I, I still have the sheets here too, so if we need to reference what what Marulus is hopped up on over there, <laughs> <laughs> he starts zipping around. What's left? Um, you have a personal environmental shield, or you have a force shield projector. Oh, I, I, I thought um, I thought that um, Arulo used one of those. Mm -mm. No, I asked about it, but I didn't. She pick asked it up. out, but she didn't say she specifically like. She was just like, "Are what you do these going do? to?" I would recommend. Okay. It. Uh, uh, yes, I am. Plus it, I... plus three armor. The force shield projector. Yeah. How long but does that last? Yeah, it, it lasts for an hour. Once you My use it. My pocket's already full. Okay, what do you have? It'll be, fine. It'll be fine. Just use it right away. Follow my example. You have a spray <laughs> that only last an hour. You can see my device. sheet, can't you? Oh, yeah, I'm just double checking that my notes match your notes. So you um, literally would be a. It'd be a 1d100. It's technically minus 20. Because you have two things that are stable. You have two okay. uh, stable items. Okay. So, you're not going to blow up the world. You're not going to mm -hmm. blow up the world. <laughs> what if I really want to? Uh, force shield projector. I will pick that up, I suppose. Do it. I did it. Do it. No touchy. <laughs> exactly. So, did you get, that was both of them then? Uh, no. The other one's a personal environment shield, which basically oh. it makes a bubble around you that you can survive in for 28 hours. Um, so how, did, how is that helpful versus not being in the bubble? Um, if you were to be thrown underwater, you can breathe. If you were to be sucked out into space somehow, you can breathe. You won't be affected by temperatures. If, um, I don't know. I mean, there's. Does it's it deflect attacks? It does not deflect attacks, or it's not any kind of armor. It is literally just an environment. So. Um. Red will kind of look up after putting the uh, nodule on his whip, and oh, oh. Okay. You, you took them all. And just <laughs> grabbed the last one there. As Marilus is like inhaling the dry and injecting yeah. everything. <laughs> like, oops. Out of character. Was that okay? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfectly okay. fine. <laughs> right. Perfectly fine. Chaos, um, chaos. I just thought that'd be a funny little flavor. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> chaos, and chaos. and I, I give you an apologetic look like, oh, oh, sorry. Don't be bad. 
it's, it's okay. He might get something really good soon, so it doesn't matter. No. Do you want my lube? <laughs> Do you want my lube? No. No. Uh, real quick. I don't know where it's been. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, if if you pull out the bottle, though, I do compliment you on your labeling, proper labeling system. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> real quick, do we do a quick uh, health check? Is everybody good on their health? Does anybody need or want to take a break, um, like in game a rest? I'm fine to do any recovery levels. I could use ten minutes in game. Well, I the first you get six. Six seconds gives you the like it just an action, is like six seconds, and it takes you it that will give you one recovery roll, which is one d six plus one. Um, right, that's yours. As Morales is doping yeah. himself up, you have hmm. more than enough time to yeah. rest. Yeah, so you need a little more speed. Okay, so if you want to go ahead and roll a one d six plus one, so you get three Aww. points back. Okay. You, it's one That's shy of your max. <laughs> look, listen. <laughs> you look and listen. It's not max. It's not max. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We could do better. So. Um, so I, I'm now actually kind of like jittery, vibrating <laughs> as I stand still. Like <laughs> he's existing out of phase. Um... Yes. Yeah. Did Did you that. hit me with that phase disruptor, Red? Red, what's going on? <laughs> what happens? Uh, I don't know. Or, or wait, was that Oral who took the phase disorder? Oral did. Yeah. Did the, yeah. Okay. But you don't know. You're drunk. You're in you're drugs. <laughs> That's you're true. Dirty. It's cool. You're fine. Yeah. You'll be fine. That's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, it's great. Okay. So you guys are hanging out in this room. Uh, you've gone through all the loot. Um, did you do. What did you do with the shins? Did you just pocket them all? <laughs> I'm just, They're still in a. Or are they yeah. just on the ground? They're just on the ground. Okay. I need them. I'm going to pocket them. It's Yeah, it's just 10. I mean, it's not like... Granted, the money in this world is weird and, you know, like, tensions buys you like a dagger, but... <laughs> I know okay. I had a, like, slot for that. It's. I think it's just called money on here. Where is it? Uh, under equipment. Oh, top right of equipment, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, so... Um, real quick, are you guys going to tell Oral about the doors, what he said about going left, any of that? Or are you just guys going to be like, let's keep moving? I, as we're moving, I would think. Yeah, okay. I, and and I, I interject in uh, barely logical sentences to, <laughs> to help, you know, get the point across. Doors, left, right, straight, go, don't go, left. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> nice. He's like the squirrel from over the hedge. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I didn't expect this this uh, character plot twist, but it uh, feels, feels like a whole feels new natural. character now. <laughs> <laughs> feels totally I'm ready natural. to go, let's do this. He's like, I'm ready. <laughs> All right, so there is a door um, leading out of Does here. Does it have something to stab nearby. It does. does it, it has, has a, a panel. stabbing panel. It does panel, have a panel. That's what we call them. <laughs> Would you like to stab the panel, or are you going to try to... I don't, I don't have a stabby stab. Dibs. I'll stabby stab the panel. I mean, the guy oh. did throw a, a knife and the sword down, so you could pick up a knife. Who wants weapons? <laughs> no, I like... I got Nobody. my fire whip. Nobody yep. I got my okay. fire whip. There, my there, there's, a, there's a sword on the ground? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I pick up the sword. All right. I toss the knife away. I don't need that now. I don't this... know if you can actually effectively use a sword. Oh. Cuz then I <laughs> then I realize that and then I go and pick up the knife again. He awkwardly swings it around. It's like, "Woo!" <laughs> well, this isn't going to work. Duck. Yep. I just chuck it over my shoulder. All right. <laughs> Whoever is stabbing the uh the screen, if you want to roll that flat d20. I will stab. No. Okay. Uh, the door. Can I push it twice? Oh no, that's my oh, roll from before. That's your roll from before. Uh, the door lifts about three inches off the ground and then slams back down. And there's now well, a dark I, screen. I thought, I thought that was the trick. Hmm. Maybe we should try stabbing it again. <laughs> 
do it, do idea. it. Stabbing, the solution to all of life's problems. Apparently. Stab it again, please. I'm going to. I'm please, doing it right now. <laughs> that sounds like one of those motivational posters. Perfect. <laughs> Stabbing. Yep. Life's problems resolved. Uh, the, the screen flickers. Uh, for just a few seconds, you can see on the display. Uh, please roll me a d6. Five. Uh, so you see a display that says six hours briefly. And it's in red numbers. And then it goes out. Look what you did. Is the door open, though? No. It does not. Dang it. It most certainly does not. It doesn't even lift this time. <laughs> All right. Who can shrink? Actually, um, you know what? I can phase through things. I've got, got, that, I've got the got phase that disruptor. Other door. <laughs> we have a phase disruptor, guys. That other door had 27 minutes on it. I don't think we put too much time in here. We could try and go north. Your guess it would be you've been in here maybe 15, 15 minutes, like, going through everything and figuring out and divvying it out and everything. Okay. Hey, Rachel. Mm -hmm. um, just to be clear, because I have an edge in intellect, using Onslaught is free, right? Yes. So couldn't I just, like, repeatedly use a physical ray on the door itself to try and bust it down? Yes. If you wanted to. Yes. Kind of been our thing. Uh, give me, um, give me a D100. Yeah, sure. <laughs> 32. Okay. It's going to take you 32 minutes to, to smash through this door to get it to start cracking. 32 minutes is less than six hours. That's just logical. I keep going. <laughs> Besides, I'm on a one-hour timer, just... so. <laughs> I I think I'm getting through it. As you guys are just sitting there watching him. <laughs> is <he> like... I, <clears throat> I'm leaned against the wall legs kind of like crossed at the ankles just hanging out. Do I out. have any meat in my pouch? Uh, you guys would have rations and stuff. I don't think you would have Oh, meat. he gave us rations. No meat, but there would be rations. <sighs> Boo. Yeah, I'm snacking on some rations. It does not smell good in this room. Just FYI. Because of the body? Um, yep. How bad? Um... I mean, you could... I've smelled worse. I was. Have you? Have you all smelled roadkill? Like, like day old roadkill, bloated, fly infested. Yeah, that our... personal environment shield starting to sound pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yep. I may just bubble him. <laughs> oh, you're gonna bubble him? Uh, yeah. Keep <laughs> I, the smell out. I thought you gotta bubble yourself. <laughs> Keep the no, smell. No. The smell out of yourself. Team player. No way. No. <laughs> Uh, so Onslaught Man is still mentally attacking the door. Uh, we'll say it takes him another, like, five to ten minutes to get, uh, like, a hole opened up where you guys can all start kind of either, like, hitting it with, you know, knives or whatever and kind of smashing your way through this door. <laughs> When, when I when I think it's um when I think it's at the point where I can just bust through, I, I'll I'll do like a full you know shoulder tackle to it. I do have a hammer. I also have a hammer. See, I'm pretty sure a bunch of you have like climbing gear, a hammer, maybe even a crowbar. I also Mates. have a hammer. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So once once that hole, we'll start hitting it with a hammer. Okay. Uh, that'll shorten the time a little bit more. So you guys manage in another, you know, 10, 15 minutes between the three of you manage to like bust open a big enough hole you can climb through. Um, and you're now in a hallway. Congratulations. Stabbing and smashing. Stabbing and smashing. This is where I expected it to go, you know. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what, what is revealed? Ooh. Another, uh, another hallway. And at the end of the hallway, it does look to get brighter again. Uh, by the way, your glow globe uh, probably is at yeah. the end of its life. Um, or but it is very uh, close to it. Yeah, it's like kind of flickering and maybe starting to like hover closer to you. I light a oh. torch and hold it aloft and I'm... I'm oh, Before sorry. you do that, it's it's lighter up ahead. Like it goes back into like a lighter environment again. So you may not want to do that until you get in there. Yeah, I guess not. I mean, you could welcome to, but... <laughs> Alright, yeah, just continue walking until we get to the room. Okay, uh, this is a room. There is a door to the north, 
aka your left. Left. <laughs> and then a straight. <laughs> was, so, was he saying we go left? We don't go left. Hold don't. On. Real quick. Don't. Real quick. Don't go left. All right. Oral. No wait. Are we supposed to go left? Brett and Marulus. Oral red. Ow. So Oral, you walk in and you're like, whoa. We've been here before. It doesn't look familiar to you, but you know you've been here. Uh, sorry, Brett. <laughs> you take four points of damage from a room that wound that wasn't there a moment ago. Also, no, no. you walk in the room oh. and you have a gash across your arm. Great. Um, uh, and does that damage come from anywhere? Uh, I would say either speed or might. I'll let you pick which one of those. Oh. But it would have been a physical right. attack. Okay. Wait, and... who can heal people? Marulus can. Marulus, um, in front of you, ch -ch 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 -ch, you see Aural and Red. Red is going to disappear for a split second and then reappear with a gash on his arm. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I try to heal you. Okay. You're you're able to heal. Um, or you got to do the check, the intellect check. Uh, do I it... feel, do I feel the wound or is it just... Oh yeah, you feel it. It, it yeah, feels like somebody just like hacked at your arm with either like a sword drag across it or uh, like an axe hitting it, like something I'll bladed. Look. So I'm just rolling in an, an intellect check, like a straight intellect. Uh, intellect DC two. Okay. I'll look at A and say, "Watch it with that sword." <laughs> it wasn't me. I had nothing to do with that this time. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? Ooh, yeah. Well. Um, so I'll roll a d6, first of all, right? Yep. Um, great, so five. Uh, and and uh, let, let's go with a, a major effect, some kind of, I don't know, awesome boon or something for red. Um, I'll say you heal it, uh, and you do such a good job healing it that his, um, his next action is reduced by two steps. He's like, he's like, oh man, like, cause you just super stitched it up, smash the planet. Exactly. And then so, I can put those healing points into any pool, correct? Well, it has to all go into the same pool, but yes. yeah, but I can choose. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So then I will go back to max intellect because otherwise it's a waste. Yeah. The difference is your um, recovery rolls. Those points can go into any of the pools. Okay. Um, so if you roll a six, but you only need one point of intellect, but four of another, you can split it. Whereas this one has to go into one, one stat. All right. So, uh, um, thanks for that. Yeah. And you get Anytime. basically two assets on your next, whatever your next, uh, okay. roll is. Beautiful. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you guys are in this room. It is, let me pull up my notes, my notes, my notes. Um, as you enter the room, the walls flex and bend slightly, and the air feels heavier, but you see no other changes or threats. Um, can I sense magic, I guess? Uh, yeah, so you're just kind of looking around? Yeah. Uh, what are you guys doing for the minute while he's staring at the walls? Um, I'm gonna look <laughs> at that like, mm. le the left door. I see there's a... Is, so is there a door to the left? It's a and door, no door going with straight? a panel. <laughs> for stabbing. <laughs> stabbing panel. And then if we, go <laughs> if we go straight ahead, is there a door? There is no door, it's just an archway. Um, I'd like to look down the hallway. Not necessarily enter it, but okay. see what's down there. And I do have perception as a skill, if you there is anything do. to perceive. While you uh, kind of glance at the door and then look down the hallway... Uh, Marulus, you are not going to immediately detect any s specific magic. However, the door that heads north, uh, you... It's pulsing, we'll say. Uh, so it's almost like the Numenera, um, to best put it in two terms that we as D&D players know, uh, different schools of magic have the different auras. It's sort mm -hmm. of like that sensation, where you're maybe getting one type of uh, 
technology and then you're getting like a pulse and then you get like another technology pulse um so it's almost like if you could see auras it's a similar idea where there's like different colors flashing maybe except this is like pulses and feelings so what kind can i discern it's there's no like just it's there's no schools or anything it's just different different types and it's definitely okay. um very unsettling uh could understanding numenera like that have any additional no, information? it's not gonna give you any additional it's 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 more just a feeling than so i i do point out that that door to the left uh there's something really weird about its numenera stuff so i don't think we should even mess with the panel let's just go straight forward like we were told okay and mm -hmm. Perception? what was straight yeah uh oh yeah i gotta roll it uh, uh if you ask for a dc we'll say dc four four and then i have an asset two correct mm-hmm Nice. Success. So I said to beat a three, so. Yeah. So you're looking down the hall, because, um, I mean, there's not a ton to see. Um, but you're looking down the hall, and you'll be able to tell that there is, uh, it opens up into a much larger room than you've previously been in. Um, you're going to see, uh, basically, the ground appears, you know, because you can only basically see straight ahead. Um, it does appear to open up, uh, maybe like unnaturally like a crevice of some sort has cracked open in the earth uh so you can you can see that as you're you're peering down this hallway um at the point where you can see uh it is maybe 10 feet across um at that point so that's kind of what you can get uh the lighting doesn't change it looks like it's still bright enough to be able to see like you won't need torches or anything. You cannot help tell how deep it is from where you are, though. Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. The the path straight ahead looks like the room may be a little bit larger. Something we haven't come across yet. Or have you? All right. No. I'm with. <laughs> or have you been there already? Three times. I'm with you guys. No. Uh... <laughs> I'll lead the way down the hallway. I have my mace drawn. I'll take my middle position. <laughs> I'm I'm skipping along behind. All right, he's like, <laughs> you guys uh, walk in on this room and Oral, Red, Marulus. Did that roll a third one? Oof, yes. Okay. Uh, so you hear behind you. You hear Marulus is kind of in his own little world, and he's like, <laughs> like. And then he stops, and then briefly starts again. And you think, ah, oh, maybe he just stopped, but since he's behind you, you can't tell. Um, you, uh, Red, mm -hmm. while sh while Arl hears Marulus stop humming, um, Marulus to you is like on speed, singing, like humming the same like four notes, like three or four times in a row. And then all of a sudden, it skips to like a later part of a song that you now recognize. Like, like he somehow missed the middle part of the song. So, okay. So, like, if it was like "Twinkle, Twinkle, oh, sorry," you hear like "Twinkle, Twinkle, 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 Twinkle." How I wonder what you are, <laughs> like, like. I'll. His brain's I'll take glitching. A look, <laughs> take a look back and kind of glance. I'm assuming you're still all like bouncy and everything. Yeah, and as you turn around and you see, uh, Marulus, or yeah, suddenly has like a black eye. Uh, like somebody just slugged him across the face, and you take four Aww. points of damage, Marulus. Either so speed just, or might. So I just subtract that from like my my pool of from energy the current, for it. yeah. Um, and there's no like way that my current speed edge or or my other stuff like the stim or anything would help with that. Nope, it just happens. Okay. <laughs> uh, great. So do I see him not with a black eye, and then all of a sudden a black eye? Basically. Like, you hear, twinkle, twinkle, what you are! And then he has a black eye, and you're like, what is... What this place is haunted. This place is All so right. haunted. <laughs> so, um, can I... I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna heal myself. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's a check of two. Intel intellect check. Okay. <laughs> Four. 
<laughs> heal, heal, heal. What oh, is what the yeah. heck? Nice. I mean, I'm not complaining, but jeez. Um, oh, okay, so rolling a d6, and um, it's a 6, so wow. I'm, it's, it's fully healed. Oh, I'm also uh, injured somehow. <laughs> <laughs> please, please help me also um, and uh, uh, so major effect uh, yeah go for it Rachel I'll say I'll give you two two assets on your next thing whatever that ends up being how about that One, wonderful I pocket pocket a couple assets <laughs> okay all right um Yes, yeah, so you guys have walked into this room, and this is L. L, L, L. Uh, so, the breach. The floor and northwest wall are broken open, revealing a gap that disappears into darkness. The gap is at least 30 feet, and if you look over the edge, you'll see a constant slow trickle of sand and gravel off of the edge that drifts slowly down toward the gap in the wall. Every few seconds, where the sand disappears in darkness, you see tiny crackles of light. The narrowest part of the gap is about 10 feet across. So basically the southern kind of point, if you're looking at it. Oh, I haven't opened it for you. There you go, I can see it. The southern kind of point area, that's about 10 feet across, whereas the top part of it is uh, closer to 30 feet across. Uh, and it goes pretty far down. It goes... It doesn't say how far. I think I ruled it was like si between 60 and 100 feet, but it's hard to tell because it's dark. So that would be pretty fatal to fall that far, yeah? Um, Fall damage, yes. Uh, but I would remind you that the sand that is trickling down, you see little sparks of light and it disappears. And it's constantly trickling, like on a loop of some sort. I would like to drop an arrow down the hole. You can, yeah, you can do that. All right. Uh, yes. Yep. So it goes down. Um, you you watch it. After it gets to a certain point, you see a purple flash of uh, lightning, and it disappears. I vote we don't go down there. Yeah. Uh, real quick, everybody give me a perception check. If you don't have it on your skills, it's just a straight intellect check. It is going to be a DC 5. Wow. I'm not going to do well here. In intellect DC check, you say? Yeah. DC's difficulty, right? Yeah. I'm going to put a point of effort into this one. You also are trained in that perception, remember? Yep. Yeah, I am rolling so. it from there. I am going to put in um, two points of effort. Okay. Now remember, that's going to cost you four points for your pool. Mm -hmm. Okay. All Oof. right. So, uh, Oral. Oh, I did succeed. Sorry. And Marulis are both just staring over the edge. Mm -hmm. Uh, going. Yeah, we shouldn't shouldn't go down there. This this bad. Marulis is going. Nope, nope. It's bad. It's bad. So bad. So bad. So bad. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> like yep. just. Mm -hmm, nope. Mm, nope. I agree. Yep. Uh, uh, Red, you're gonna be kind of looking around, and you're gonna see across from you. Uh, there is actually about ten feet down on the wall, uh, wedged into the side of that crevice, is. A shield-shaped item. Uh, oh, I snap! Think <laughs> I found that shield. Where? I will, I will point to. So, the, is this under in the the hole? It is, but it's like wedged, almost like there's the edge of the wall goes, and it looks like there's like a little crack, maybe in the floor that goes in a little bit more, where it's like kind of uneven. It looks like the shield kind of slipped down. It's maybe about 10 feet down, like wedged in there. So what would that require if one were to try to go retrieve it? A rope. You got some rope. You got some rope, some climbing gear. Uh, I mean, is it on the opposite side of the, it of is. the gap? It is, and I'll draw a little mark for you guys so you can see kind of where it would be at. 
so oh, of course that's like bright green and hard to see so it's about there but it's about 10 feet down kind of on that little part that sticks out i think we need to get to the other side but first over here it is only 10 feet across so i will say it's a difficulty six to jump it just like stand at the edge and try to jump across but if you get a running jump you can ease it um, yeah, so I forgot to apply that uh, that boon that I got to my last roll, so I'll just apply it to this roll, and I'm going to do a running jump across. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> you also um, have, don't forget, you have two points in your edge, two additional points. I don't remember how, you had to, how many you had to start. Um, it was zero originally. I got it from, okay. I think, like the, the stim or something. Yep. So the difficulty is going to be decreased by four. No, I'm saying you can apply two, two levels of effort, but it also costs you much less speed to, to do it. It costs you, it's only going to cost you three points of your speed if you do okay. two levels of effort. Plus you have the two assets. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So I go from nine speed to six. Um, so now I'm, now I'm rolling a DC four, basically. DC... Oh, hold on. Back check. It's a DC six. You're running, so that technically counts as like an asset. So if you want to do that, you actually do DC five for you because you already have the two assets, and you're putting in two levels of effort. So in reality, it's going to be a DC one, but I'm going to submit it as a DC five. Correct. And effort to roll two. Mm -hmm. Yep. Make sure you take off your four points though. Oh, sorry, three is points. this broken? Wow! Hang on, let me just. No, it says you're he rolling. pulls us with him. <laughs> uh, by the way, when you do roll a nat twenty, if you used effort, actually, I forgot to mention this before. If you use effort, uh, you get your cost refunded. Ooh! I oh. forgot to mention that. So you would get those two points back that you used red. On your last roll, because you you rolled an at twenty. No, you didn't. Me? Sorry. No, I have not yet. Okay, but this one doesn't cost you anything, Nick. Okay, so I'm back up to nine speed. <laughs> Perfect. All right. And I am uh, across the gap, and there's some kind of major effect. Yeah. Um, what kind of major effect would you like on this? Because um, I I don't know. <laughs> um, with 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 <laughs> with my. <laughs> With my uh, sheer um, uh, drug-addled adrenaline <laughs> athleticism, I also collect the shield. Uh, stretching <laughs> it a little bit, my man. <laughs> I know. I, I thought about it. If it had been like closer to the edge, like within reach, I would have said you could jump across, but and like snag it on your way over or something. Um, how about? How about I get a bonus to attempting to do so with another check? Sure. What kind of check are you going to do? Um, I didn't think that far ahead. Like, honestly. so you're, you're, so, okay, okay, I got this. Roll me a flat d20. Sure. Perfect. 13. Uh, I figured if it's higher than a 7. So, higher than a 7. So you, uh, basically, you run. Okay, hear me out, guys. You run. You jump <laughs> <laughs> you jump across this gap and you are so pumped and so like drug induced right now that you keep running Sonic style. Like <laughs> across and around and you actually do grab the shield. Awesome. But you are on the other side of the gap. Still. So now I'm like, okay. You, you can jump over now. And you guys are like what just happened? I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm looking gonna, for him to phase back. I'm gonna start just... doing drugs. <laughs> He's just like, what do I got in my bag? <laughs> <laughs> um, Brett. I just hope I can make it across. Yes. Would you like a jam and truth? Yes. You would. All right. I knew where you're going, and yes. <laughs> it's like I don't know where I'm going. But... All right, you get two points of experience. Um, Luna, go ahead. Yeah, you should take one, and who are you giving the other one to? Oh, Luna, sorry. Are you giving it... Okay, Luna. I was going to say, are you yeah. giving it to uh, Sonic, or are you giving it to... <laughs> yeah. No, he, he's good. He's good. Aw, right. thanks, I'm Brett. bringing the 3D back. All right. 
Um, so you're kind of, you two are standing on the other side of the, um, the gap and you're trying to figure out maybe how to get across. You have, uh, Sonic on the other side going, do, 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 do. That's just my name for the rest of the session. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and he's like holding it over his head like a, like a, you know, a, what do you call it? Like a Zelda? Trophy. That's the word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A trophy. Sorry. I had to. Exactly. Um, and then you are going to notice kind of off to uh, the left at the very edge, kind of right here, there is a small uh, kind of square shaped item. Uh, just kind of, it looks like it's been tucked underneath the edge of the wall. I would like to assess it for danger. All right, uh, DC four. All right, I'm not gonna add any effort to that, <laughs> but I will re-roll it. Okay. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. Fair. Uh, there we go. Four. All right. And I will be upset with myself. Just be upset. Um, from where you're standing, it doesn't look dangerous. It looks like a box. Uh, it's about the size of, um, I would say like a shoe box, but it's a little shorter than that. So not quite as long as a shoe box, but it's about the same almost size. As much as I feel like it's dangerous, Red does not. So yeah. he's going to go grab this box. All right, you grab this box, and uh, you'll notice on one side of it there are a couple of symbols um, that look like like an arrow, like pointing, you know, like this side up, and then like another symbol that's like, you know, how to basically it's IKEA instructions of how to use this thing, um, with a couple of small notations that says uh, basically it's like an expendable bridge in a box. And it can expand to 15 feet. Um, is what you can read I, off the little, like, notes. I, I think I found a bridge, and I will <laughs> go over to the 10-foot side with it and deploy said bridge. Da-da-da-da! It pops a bridge across. Okay, but you're going over it first. I shrug. <laughs> Did you follow across. the instructions? <laughs> I don't know. But I don't think it's dangerous. <laughs> Actually, can I assess danger of going over the bridge now that it's deployed? <laughs> if you'd like. Sure. I just don't trust this bridge. It's a DC4 again. I, I call over the chasm. As long as you read the instructions, it's fine. And I did. It does <laughs> not appear to be any kind of like a trap or anything. It looks like it was literally a bridge that maybe somebody left there to come back later and use and never came back for it. Yeah, walk across. All right. <laughs> you guys are across. All three of you are on the same side. You now can have... We, can I pack up the bridge? Uh, sh sh Give me a D, an intellect. Straight intellect. We'll say... Uh, do you have use... You don't have... Oh, you, no, you don't have understanding of Monero. Um, yeah, it would just be an intellect uh, four. So you can kind of fiddle with it. Um, I and just drop it into the hole. <laughs> no, no, it, it's still there. It's it's not, you just can't figure out how to like collapse it or if it's supposed to collapse. It might be just kind of like a one and done. Like it's a, I imagine I'm it's like one of those ripcord things that <laughs> on the um, oh, inflatable yeah. vests. <laughs> That's it. I'm going to kick it and then start walking away. <laughs> Kick it I down don't... into the hole, or just kick it? No, no, to, just no, like no. out of frustration. Okay. Like little. Okay. If uh... it is inflatable, I'm gonna imagine that it makes a small squeaky noise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can <laughs> while being kicked. Can I attempt to pack up the inflatable bridge? It's not really inflatable. <laughs> it's, it is now. It's yeah. Ex it's a collapsible bridge. No, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, no, it's it, uh... it's just an expandable bridge, um, and it actually. He just couldn't figure out if it can. Uh, you can try to if you'd like real quick. Sure. So I'll roll uh, understanding. understanding. Yeah. Yours is still a four, but you get the uh, 
it brings it down to a two. Here we go. I'm not going to use any effort because I'm running kind of low on stats. Um, <laughs> it is just burn them all. <laughs> yeah, you're you're looking at it and you're like, <laughs> technically it could be salvaged. Uh, it can't be returned to its original state, uh, but it could be salvaged uh, for like parts and stuff if you wanted to. Um, but it is just a one-time use cipher. Oh, okay, well, we have bigger and better things then. I'll leave it. Yep. Uh, all right, so are you guys continuing to the next room, I'm assuming? Yeah, with the shield. With the and shield. The, and the bug the, in a cage. Uh, and a peed. Yep. Yep, yep. Uh, as you guys are walking into this room, let me read the instructor. So up ahead of you, you're going to see, uh, da, 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 da. much like the initial room you entered, the walls are the same glassy bubble appearance, but have changed to a dark mottled green, and occasionally shadows swim across. So it's almost as if you're looking up, like, underwater, that sort of effect. Do um, we see any creatures or anything? No, you just see shadows occasionally kind of drift over, but it doesn't, you don't okay. see any specific shapes. Um, and as you guys are walking into the room, like actually going into the room, give me one second. Can I choose to roll this one? one of these off of this this table for reasons yeah for reasons for completely oh, non-nefarious reasons non-nefarious reasons absolutely non-nefarious reasons Great. you each are going to get one point of experience because I am doing a group intrusion that you cannot say no to yay and awe at the same time so you essentially will feel this as you all sort of kind of not quite black out but your vision is going to tunnel vision each of you roll me a d6 okay so three minutes five minutes and five minutes um or sorry three rounds five rounds and five rounds so it's it's i mean it's like a minute at most um as so just to be clear, I'm feeling more intoxicated. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Basically, your okay. vision is going to narrow to a like a pinprick of light uh, for this amount of time. Uh, you okay. feel in all three of you feel very dizzy, uh, almost like nauseous and sick to your stomach, kind of like like nothing is right all of a sudden. And then you are actually going to open your eyes and be in a different room uh, when your vision Rude. clears. Um, so you are going to basically temporarily sort of black out as you come kind of start coming back to your senses. Uh, you are going to um, also have the sensation and memories that you've been in here. You've walked down the hall that's back behind you. Uh, you came through, like, you remember all of this as if you've been here before. As if time loop has caught up to itself, maybe? This is getting annoying. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. And then, uh, G. So the cro chronometric energy in this room is palpable and strongest on the south side. The south wall is a complicated Numenera interface with two small cavities. The middle of the ceiling has a large socket. So we're in cavity? the we're in that far west room, right? You are here now. Okay. Yep. yep. Even in my adult state, I assume that I can deduce this is probably where one would enter the three keys. Probably. I mean, you guys are all kind of coming to your the steps like that temporary step in increase isn't uh, effective anymore now that you can see and like whatever that sensation was is fading. Um, Marulus, even yes. in your adult state, looking down the hall that you guys just walked down, obviously, 
uh, because how else would you have gotten here, you see a figure of a woman coming towards you. Uh, she gets about three quarters down that hall and then disappears. That's and then never good. About five seconds later, she reappears at the other end of the hall walking towards you again. Hello. Disappears again. <laughs> like she basically Hello? does this. You see this about three times before it stops. Hello. Hi, <laughs> nice just, lady. She doesn't seem to respond or hear you. Did 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 you guys see that? Did you see I that? Was looking. The, the, I was looking. I'll turn right? around. See what? Uh, woman appearing, disappearing, like like the centipede. Kinda seems to be the uh, theme around here. Yeah. After a couple minutes, you would see her appear again, like one time, and then disappear. Uh, Nick, you would notice that one of the times she is carrying a sh or sorry, one of the times she's not carrying a shield, and all the rest of the times she is carrying the shield under one arm. Uh, sometimes she has a shield, sometimes she doesn't have the shield. Um, I think we're, I, I don't know, are we seeing past times that she's been here and she had the shield? Is it the same shield that you're ca carrying? Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, Red's gonna look back at the wall. Um, you said there was some spots two spots on the wall one in the ceiling mm -hmm. so what is quick perception checks for anybody who is trying to to investigate yeah. and or deduce things sure i'm specifically looking at the one in the ceiling okay uh so it's gonna be dc5 for these just straight intellect yeah if you don't have a uh, perception on your sheet <laughs> oh. Should I roll? Um, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> well. Are you rolling I'm also? Gonna burn. No. I'm oh. going to I'm going to roll like that. Wow. I mean I'm going to burn XP on this. <laughs> you can burn it all some more effort. Why? Why do I keep doing it? <laughs> Anybody else want to try again? No? Yeah, me? Mm, no, no. no? Alright, so you guys are looking and you're like yep, these are this This is definitely some Numenera. <laughs> and you're, you're looking at it and you're looking. You're specifically looking at the hole in the ceiling, and you're like, "Yeah, something goes there." I'm sure of it. Could uh, I attempt? And oh, go, go ahead. No, no, go, uh, go for it. Could, attempt whatever could, you want. <laughs> uh, understanding Numenera. Can I try? You that? can do an understanding Numenera. Yes. Yay. <laughs> Difficulty five. N not yay. Um, but you, ha you're specialized. Remember, so it's already two steps easier. That's true. Difficulty three? I, I think I can handle that. Famous last words. <laughs> True. If none of this works, I'm just going to stab it. So I mean, that always works. That seems to be your default. <laughs> it's, been, it's been successful in the past. Argue with me. Uh, well, there was the one door. We um, don't yeah. talk about that. We don't <laughs> talk about that. Sorry, do, do I uh, call it a five or a three? In the a five. A five, five. Okay. yeah. Yay. Yay. All right, so you're looking over and you're like, hold up, hold up, hold up, guys. And you flip out your book and you're like, <laughs> like flicking through it and you like find the page that has the keys uh, or the, the images and you're like, shield, check. This thing, check. You know, pointing to the bug. And you're like, dust, check. We got it all. And then you're pointing to the door and the sockets and you're like, shield, yes. And you look up at the socket and the shape there's on the bottom of the shield, there's like, almost like a I don't know like a key shape I don't know we'll just say key shape but it basically will fit in the socket in the ceiling and then oh. there's a bowl and it has some what looks like thalm dust and then there is a another small uh, container which you're guessing 
is where the third key would go. Wait, so sorry, just to confirm, we already have the thumb dust? Uh, yeah, yeah, both of them have. Pockets. Oh. Yes, we do. Uh, so I relay that information, and I'm like, great, we can open the vault. Let's do it. Perfect. I can take care of the shield. I pass the shield to you. Um, what's How tall is the ceiling? Um, in this room, it's actually significantly shorter. Uh, so you wouldn't have a problem. You know, it's like eight oh. feet up, maybe. So you'll just reach up and okay. stuff it in. I was going to use... Actually, I'm going to use Injector, which is one of my ciphers, and just control it up. So I won't actually physically... Okay. Do it, but mentally, kind of, is that possible? Yeah, that's fine. Because it kinda is kind of like hold it in place. Well, it's technically not a device, but yeah, it, I'll say it works. It's a key. So. It. I'll. How about I put it up and then just kind of mentally hold it there. And you can. You can control it up. I mean, it's not oh, like it's cool. fine. Um, are you doing yours first? Are you guys all going at the same time? Are you coordinating one, two, three? Uh, I mean, are you Morales, just like, how was it written go? in the book? There is no um, indication. It's scribbles. It just says that... Is there an order, though? It appears that nobody hand. has gotten all three keys and gotten here at the same time together. Let's, let's try just entering them at the same time. I mean, uh, it doesn't sound like that's a bad idea. Who's got the bug? Uh, uh, bug's in the Red cage, so... It. I'll I'll toss the cage to, uh, to A. I know you love bugs. Hmm. Love stabbing bugs. All right. So are you guys one, two, three? Yeah, I your... guess I, I take the dust and we count from three and we do, we go right. Okay. Uh, Arl, are you taking the bug out or are you just putting the whole cage on? What is the what does it look like? What is what look like the, the hole, the port, the key? So hole. it's it's almost like a. I'm gonna say it's kind of like a cage without a top, though. I'm gonna shake the bug into it. Okay, so you're gonna open the flap and. Okay. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> no, don't. no one's touched it yet. Nobody yeah, has touched it yet. Nobody That's... don't touch strange bugs. Mm -mm. Probably for the best. <laughs> bugs made of light. It. I'm not a smart person, but I know not but to I touch a better. bug. All right, so you guys do all your. You shove the the key in the. The One, two, three, shield. go. You'd sprinkle the dust in the bowl and you drop the bug in. And after a few seconds, the door starts unlocking and it opens up. And inside, you can see um, it's very kind of like that hazy, dusty, um, as if it has not been opened in a very long time. Um, on initial look, you can see that there is like several tables that have um, just weapons and artifacts and maps and keys and device like there's just all sorts of really really cool stuff treasure um, for reference y'all uh ciphers are one-time uses right artifacts deplete so basically you can use it and it gets depleted over an amount of time or um it could actually run indefinitely because some of them a lot of them actually deplete on a one on a d100 so, basically, if you roll a 1 on a d100, it breaks, it runs out of whatever. But otherwise, it keeps going as long as, as, long as you don't roll a 1. Um, <laughs> the coolest things of note in here are that there is, like, a suit of armor. Sort of. Not armor. It's, um, sorry, I'm trying to find a page that has the list of stuff. It is a... What is it called? Battle suit is a term, you know, because that's obviously easy to remember. Um, but it's basically a self-contained, it has almost like the shield plus the environmental aspect. So you can like breathe in space and stuff. And then it basically just gives you like a ton of armor. Um, there is several time dilation nodules, you know, things that screw with time. Uh, a dice, a device that contains a complete plan for a vehicle, or uh, some kind of installation that you could build. Uh, so there's like lots of really, really cool stuff. So, do we basically just start stuffing everything into our backpacks to just like? Pretty much, because artifacts you can carry as many as you can fit on your person. Um, 
you know, within your carrying capacity, as well as you have a battle suit that would it's like mini mech armor. So Is it an automaton? It is not. That's good. And you are not an automaton <laughs> if you put it on. <laughs> That's also good. <laughs> so that would be where we're gonna wrap up. Uh you guys made it to the vault. You would eventually maybe try to figure out a way out. Um, stab it. <laughs> stab it all the way back out. We're gonna lube up that robot. Yep. And slide out of here. <laughs> <laughs> slide right on out. <laughs> Just pile stuff on like family vacation. And just some... push it out the door. <laughs> <laughs> the sled. There you go. That's. Oh, and my secret has something to do with drug addiction. Obviously. <laughs> <Nice>. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't a secret at the end. Again. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Not a secret. All right. So that's where I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording.